when we last left our heroes, you guys had delved down to the third level of the Gauntlet Ruins. You happened into a room that was filled with mist and got attacked by a tentacled monster, uh, which you swiftly dispatched. And then you wandered into an ancient library uh, that um, was kept by ghouls and cultists. Um, you guys had uh, tried to take care of everything there. You basically killed all the ghouls that you saw. Uh, and then um, you, one of the canker cultists tried to dupe you into following him into a room and you guys swiftly dispatched him as well. You started searching around and you found a bunch of books that were of suitable quality that you thought you might be able to take them back to the bookstore, Odd Stories, and um, make sure that those um, books got sold. And that's where we are. And here I will take you back to Otari. Hey. So did anybody want that um, <laughs> retribution axe? I don't know. It seems like a neat party trick axe to me. <laughs> I think we should just put it up over our mantle. And when we have guests come over, we just smack the shit out of them. So, that, you know, <laughs> it, it turns into their face. <laughs> it's the mantle axe. <laughs> yeah. We can put it in the stuffed dragon's mouth. There you go. <laughs> The house that we have. We're gonna need to airbrush some in. flames on that. I think. No. <laughs> the decorating. The decorating here. Not sure. It's you know. <laughs> on level. <laughs> so it's a little, little youthful stuffed dragon. Um, no, I don't. I don't no. want the axe. I think. I think. I love the idea of having it. Um, he has a party favor at the house. Plus, it's starting to get desperate. You're trying to get rid of it every. <laughs> it's, it's fucking heavy, man. Like, <laughs> do you want me to carry around more books or not? <laughs> books, I'm going to put books, it in books, the, the party books. stash then. I guess I oh. could have just said, hey, the retribution axe is in the party stash if anybody wants it. How much is it, though? How, or how oh, much gold is it? 60. So we would get 30 for it, but. Uh, <sighs> I think we're okay, but if we there is, if we do money? need to smell it, uh, yeah, smell it. Hey, if we do need a, to smell uh, it, we can. I never activated we, maybe, Atari. We might find a, a person that this might be a beautiful <laughs> gift for. Maybe get in good graces with somebody. It is kind of neat. <laughs> we might find meet a person that might want it. Yeah, yeah. Um, of course, I'm gonna put the, the valuable books are twenty gold to pop, and we've got four of those. I don't think they're 20 gold to... a pop. Oh, are they? Is it just for all four? Okay. I, I think so. I could be wrong about that. Let me look. Wait, I've got Mine say 10 one. gold for two. Okay, so it's, yeah. yeah. This token is forked. I have some treasure to sell, so... Okay, well, you are here in town. Where would you... Why? Hold on, let me pull in a new... A new... There you go. Um, yeah, where do you want to go? What do you want to do? You're in town. You crept in um, late at night and uh, got yourselves a good night's sleep. Everybody can use the good night's sleep macro if they want. Give yourself max health. I'm assuming that Wendy treated everybody. Um, I did. I am going to ask for somebody to donate to Silver. Your lease on this room ran out and you came back here. So... I'll I'll go ahead and pay that. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, let's go to Odd Stories first and uh, offload these books. Okay, you guys make your ways to Odd Stories, 
And hey guys, we got. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's all right. I was just going to say, Morbalint and James are both here. Uh, it's a nice day outside, and they are um, enjoying some coffee and talking about books. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, we heard you talking about books. Check these out. And then I guess the party just completely starts unloading all the books. <laughs> so uh, I've, got, I've got one. Kapiri, you said you had one? I have two. Two. I have four. You got four. Did uh calliope have any i did i have any that i brought back i know i had one i wanted to keep they be in your inventory you have valuable books yep under treasure right no she doesn't have any books okay i should have the one book yes you did find the one book it is not a valuable book but you you did find the one book that you wanted valuable to me So if we have seven and all, so that'd be thirty-five. Yep. If you if okay. you want me to create a chest and put thirty-five gold, well, I mean, you guys can each just have seven gold. Oh, uh, let's that. don't split it up yet because I have some treasure I want to sell. Okay. We oh. could do it all at once. Okay. I do too. So thirty-five and all. Uh, okay, I'm putting thirty-five into the public chest, and then we'll split it in a what little bit. What do I bit. do with these books? Do I just delete them? Yeah. So um, you start showing all the books to Morblant, and he is fascinated. And James even walks over and starts looking through me. He's like, "Ooh, look at this!" Duh, duh, duh. I mean, these are five hundred year old books on very esoteric subjects. And he goes, "Ooh, I've only heard about this," and that's why he's paying such top dollar for these books. Um, I was thinking gold. they were worth more with all that. <laughs> gold. Um, and uh, so, like, they start go. They, they, he starts like scribbling some some stuff down, and he goes, "Look, look, this book uh, was written by so and so, who also wrote this book." And he basically gives you a list of stuff he's looking for. He goes, "If you find any of this stuff in the in the library down there, please bring it back. I would love." To get these bo- these uh, books off of you. Oh, okay. Okay, there's certain books. Yes. yes. So now you have like your your search time will be greatly improved in finding books. Okay. Because you know what you're looking for. Google. Yay. And uh, I guess I tell them like who was controlling the books, the cultist, and they said it was Folklore's library. Uh, they're a little disturbed by that. They're like, they're like, she was a, she was a seriously powerful, uh, arcane sorcerer. She goes, he, he goes, Morbalance, like, there is probably a lot of very dangerous books down there. We probably ought to, like, get people down there to get all that stuff out of there. Ooh, okay. there's a. Uh, Hi, I'm people. Yeah. <laughs> It would take you weeks to hike all those books out of that library. Mm. Uh, Well, when we're done uh, scouting the place, we'll uh, give you a map to uh, where where the books are. He goes, okay. (laughs) It's a little dangerous there. There's a big door. Seemed really evil. (laughs) A lot of dead things. A lot of not dead dead things things that are trying to make us dead things. It's, it's a lot of real loose, friendly. a lot of loose, uh, floppy tentacles just all over the place. Uh, just ignore those. Um, I, uh, d- I described the cult <laughs> as well. There's still still apparently active down there, and the ghoul librarians that that uh, and then the a cult leader that I can't remember the name of it, but I throw the canker cult uh, appellation out. And yeah, ask if they know like what who why would there be something down there still keeping this library? Um, they, they're a little baffled. They're like, we've never heard of a canker cult. Uh, oh, I show my, I show the necklaces that I'm wearing the gross. Oh, oh, <laughs> gross. Like they they're like, Ooh, yeah. keep that. You can, you can keep that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> um, uh, James walks over to one of his li- one of his things and starts kind of looking through some books and he goes, no, nothing there. So he starts walking around trying to find a book that might help him figure out what you guys are talking about. But they're they're baffled. They're like, look, 
If there is anything in those ruins and you guys can clear it out, that would be amazing. Do we need to send for the Pathfinder Society and Absalom to get over here and help you guys? Yes, please. Really? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, okay. we'll, we'll keep exploring for now, but maybe, I don't know, you want to... We'll, we'll let you know what we come up with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. They're like, have you talked oh. with... Um, uh, have you talked with... Um, uh, Franz Frangelico? Uh, he's a famous monster hunter in the area, and I'm sure that he could offer you some assistance. Uh, well, thank you. Wait. Idea. That's the dude, right? I would love to hear, hear how, where that goes, personally. <laughs> yeah. But that guy, yeah. wait a minute. Was he the one that was Mr. I'm puffy and very important and you guys are not? Is that the same guy? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I'm thinking, no. <laughs> I think we should, I will, oh my gosh, we should take him along with us. <laughs> oh, that could be funny. That I'm just saying that he, he looks like he could carry a lot of books for us. That's all I'm saying. Can, can, he does. I think he needs to be in a red shirt. Yes. <laughs> uh, but didn't we have, uh, then wasn't there a third name mentioned uh, by the, the ghouls? I thought that there was a third name that so, we heard during all of that. Um, They mentioned. There was Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. You, you, you. Uh, I was going to say, like, they, they mentioned uh, Kanker, and then they, they said, I thought it was a woman's name. Yes. Yeah. Nakazarin. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. okay. And, um, and they were, they were going to take you to see her. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they were, they appeared to be lying about, about that. Yes. Yes. That's right. Yes. Kazarin, yeah, well, once you said the name, I was like, oh, yeah, that's that's what it was. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I want to find, I think we should we should go publicly uh, recruit uh, Franz Frangelico. I think that would be exciting. And, <laughs> I can't wait. Is that, I wonder where he is. I asked if they know where he's. Uh, we saw him in a tavern once. Uh, he was telling of his heroics. I wonder where he's gone off to now. Um, they are. Um, uh, they they they're like, oh no, uh, we uh, we've never really done any business with him. We've only heard his stories. Uh, he's usually around and about, but I I don't I don't have any personal um, uh, direct interaction with him. You hear this one about where he left a guy for dead, and then we went back and rescued him. That's what? Story. They're like, I've never heard that story. What are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> the Dragonborn and whatever his name is. <laughs> the Dragonborn. <laughs> <laughs> he was just an orc. Oh, was he? Okay, yeah. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they're like, no, we haven't heard this story. So you, sh you share the story of rescuing uh, the guy from the from the cairn? Yeah, yeah, we need yeah. to go check in on so and so and his brother. We should do that while we're in town. Okay. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <laughs> Maybe they want to come with us. I don't know. He didn't do too well in that know. in that first level adventure. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they'll say six is a crowd. So so you have now a list of interesting books from Morbolent. Um uh, some of it is like swaths of stuff, like anything on these particular subjects, things like that. Um, uh, so, you know, you still might have to do a little bit of searching, but it, but it'll be easier to find the things that you're interested in. Okay. Okay. So what else do you guys want to do? Let's deal with treasure real quick. So yeah. John, you got the black stone. That's 25 yep. divided by two. At 14 and a half so yeah so i've got a uh, jade shard oh, sorry i can math yeah i got a jade shard worth 15 i'm deleting okay so i got 15 gold 15. yeah so and, and, and what was yours john 25 gold 25 gold and then i have a uh, the statue of two succubi that uh mr barrett beak was his pornography. <laughs> I don't know, guys. But we might want to hold on to that one. Nope. 
<laughs> <laughs> that's uh the price is 35 okay so, and then i have three black opals that are 15 each okay now i'm assuming you're going over to Rens to sell all this stuff yeah 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 how much was it 13 each 15 15 each so 45 total yeah okay so all that and then you can if you could use this auto split thing yeah i got it one, two, rich. three, four, Super five. Rich. There you go. Huzzah. Yes, money. Well, that's quite a bit of money out. right there. Yes. Thank you, new actor. Why did I only get two silver? No, I'm kidding. I <laughs> <laughs> um, does anybody need to try to buy glyphs or anything? Yeah. Yeah. Say, uh, let's <coughs> get back out to the big map so that we can go to stores less. Yep. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Thank you, sir. That's actually something I wanted to ask about because I'm not super familiar with the system. Um, since I'm playing a weird class, like the only way I'm going to get new weapons is if I make them myself. Um. Well, remember, I have that gunsmith that comes to town periodically. Yeah. So you just got to let me know what you're looking for. But like, um, what are glyphs? I mean, that's what I was saying. So there, instead of having plus one weapons and things like that, weapons are improved through glyphs so at level three you could put basically a plus one to hit glyph on a weapon to make it a plus one blah i think at level four you get the first striking glyph right yes i think so uh, next level and the striking glyph will add an extra die of damage so if it does d6 it does 2d6 now if it does d8 it does 2d8 now um but yeah, so you could you could probably buy a glyph and then somebody can etch it onto your gun. I can do it, but the, the merchant might do it. As yes, well. you could get I Ren have... to do it. She she transferred one of the glyphs that you guys had already. Yeah, I have a, a weapon potency plus one uh, glyph on me. Um, Kapuri, if you need it, you're welcome to it. What does it do exactly? Uh, it adds a plus one to hit, right? Isn't that right? Yes. Yeah, hold on. Um, make sure weapon, yeah. it basically makes your weapon a plus one to hit weapon. Yes. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. And the foundry will make you kind of manually do that shit to add glyphs, but it's not bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah. So, um, everybody give me a perception check. Just hanging out yeah. in town? Yeah. Yeah, is it blind? Yeah, that'd be great. Oh. Let me look for that because it's being weird. Um, uh, Trick and Zinger, um, there's something off. Um, it's not me. Is it, is it me? Um, is the town, a vibe chef? the town, <laughs> the vibe in town is not good. Really? Like just standing out on the street, we're just noticing. Like when you're like, walking down the street between businesses, like, you know, well, I mean, you guys were hanging out while this was, you know, festival yeah. town and everybody was all like happy and everything. This, the, the, at the same time, like the vibe in town is definitely not as good as it used to be. Did we go talk to Yin Yasmira at the Crooks Nooks? He, we're in pretty good with her. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't notice anything never mind sorry what'd you do oh I, I didn't i didn't notice that the town the feeling was off oh so. <laughs> uh, i mean can can i make a uh i mean i'd like to go maybe what's going on do, do i know how can i can't tell any further for society checks like what weird. is there any in more information i think it would be more of a gather information sort of yeah. thing yeah i am um, i would think i'm gonna I don't know where the party is going to sell stuff, but I kind of find want to wander down to the riverbank, okay, um, and kind of crouch and like golem at the river and take my bedroll <laughs> out and start just beating it and washing it in the water. And if somebody comes by, I'm gonna start chatting them up about how things are going in the town. Okay, just I'm trying to be the a normal villager, but I'm probably being as weird as possible. Okay. Okay. With, with your bloody <laughs> night sack that you're washing not, in the river. Not, not for long. Not for long. It's getting clean. I'm making a point to laugh while I'm doing it so I don't seem off putting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, uh, okay, give me a gather information roll. That sounds like a good thing, right? Sure. Let's see. I will do th that thing. That would uh, be under exploration actions, yeah, probably. Plus yeah. two. You want a blind? Uh, sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, some people notice you cleaning the blood out of your bedroll, uh, and people are keeping a wide berth of you. Oh, I keep telling everybody it's not just blood. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, the, the people, the, the people are not interested in coming over and talking to you. Oh, the people are weird. People are sad. Well, I did my part. You critically failed, but I didn't do the critically oh, yeah. fail thing on, <laughs> on, on gather information. I didn't give you incorrect information. Instead, I just assumed that you freaked everybody out. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm going to have a good read on people. But... Well, anyway, I, I do need to get this thing clean, so I'm just going to carry on at that task. Yeah. Now, this isn't you the guys... best place to do that. There are, like, some cliffs here. You really do need to come down to the beach or uh -oh. um, th this. Fine. It's not I easy will, to get uh... in and out of this of this river. Uh, oh, I, I see. Yeah, so I'll... Actually, the beach is a probably a prettier place to do this. Yes. Wholesome activity, so I'll go down there. Okay. Do you guys let the rest of the party know about the, the bad vibes, or do we pick up on yeah, it? Yeah, I assume we've shared it. Yeah. yeah I would have shared. If something seems right. off, I'm going to go wash my bedroll. Then, yeah, I'm going to go over to the, the Crook's Nook okay. and uh, ask uh, Yinz Yamira what's, uh, what's going on. Um, Yin Yasmira goes, oh, you haven't heard? Oh, they found Narala. Oh. Um, you guys know Narala as Elorio Galantine's partner. Uh, she's a centaur. Uh, and Yinya's Mara leans over and goes, they found her up the road and she'd been turned to stone. Oh, uh, Can I do a knowledge check to, to know if there's anything in this region that is known to do yeah, uh, sure. such things? I mean, there's really only one wild creature around. It's probably a basilisk. Okay. And, but I mean, are they known in this region or? I mean, they're known on the island of Cortos. Not, you know, it's not like they're, they're huge, um, but, but. Yeah, um, Narala was well known. I believe in your Founders Day Festival, I had her play um, uh, Val Rajani. She played she played the Rose Knight in the play, um, and uh, Yinya's Mara says, "Yeah, they uh, she didn't she didn't come back from a delivery, and when we they sent the when the um, when Long Saddle sent some people up the road, uh, they found her completely turned to stone with huge chunks bitten out of her. Uh, it was it was horrifying. She goes, um, "It's uh, the town's been pretty grim. I don't know where you guys have been, but it, it's not. Uh, things have been rough lately." That's so sad. That explains why our rent went out. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Is Is there any way to turn somebody back from stone? I know in D and D, you know, it's like a potion or a spell. Um, you can give me kind of an arcana check on that. Season. Ooh, I bet she'd have lost a tell. Ooh, at least. Info. <clears throat> you can just do recall knowledge. You just want to throw that up. Sorry, having difficulty. Um. Yeah, there are things that turn people back from stone, but they don't always work. And if there's huge chunks taken out of somebody, 
Probably bringing somebody back from stone with huge chunks out of them probably isn't going to fix the I'm dead thing. Mm -hmm. Does she have huge chunks out of her? Yes. She was discovered she on the road heading towards um, Absalom with huge chunks taken out. That's just gross. A poor girl. Is anybody hunting for the monster that did it? I guess it's nearby. Um, the guard has been has been talking to Franz Frangelico. Uh, he's supposedly oh, checking the area. Um, we're yeah, I, but we haven't really heard anything uh, about it. Um, I, I she goes. I'm not. I'm not tight with Aloria. It's it. I don't. I don't know her all that well. Uh, but it has kind of put a damper on the town. Additionally, you know, we've still got bandits. Uh, you know. <coughs> We've still got bandits on the road, uh, and now that there's some kind of creature turning people to stone, uh, that's a lot. Ooh, bandits, you say? Do you, uh, any idea where they're stationed out of? Is there any kind of, uh, bounty on these, uh, bandits? No, she goes, she goes, if you remember at the, at the, uh, town meeting during the festival, uh, Lardis mentioned that there were bandits uh and that they had guns and to be mm. careful on the roads um i know that there's been uh some stuff happening happening along the road to absalom but i, I you know i don't i i don't think anybody knows anything i just make sure that if you're traveling the roads long distance that you have some guards with you of some kind She's obviously downplaying how how high level you are because she doesn't really know. <laughs> she, she hasn't yeah, ever seen you guys, fight. Of, you guys fight. I'm kind of giving her a blank stare. <laughs> okay, lady. Okay, lady. Brond is just smiling and nodding and trying to you know get yeah. as much information. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's usually well, drunk when he's in town and uh, doesn't recall a lot of this. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Yeah, Somebody, if, if you're if you're like here uh, sitting here chit chatting, why don't you um, give me a gather information roll, a blind gather information roll also? Okay. Uh, and Wes, uh, uh, side note: Is there any um, place to buy like antiviral, anti-plague type potions in town? I've been going through stuff, and um, that but... would be it. Would probably be crow's casks you'd probably want stuff there uh if he doesn't have what you're looking for in particular be sure to let me know what was that roll I have any venom you said to roll something oh i was saying do give me a gather information roll where's gather information okay, that, it's that under exploration that, yeah in your actions oh under okay under okay it's all right sweetheart i see your roll i'll just work with it um Thank you. Calliope, you uh, you are talking to some of the people in the bar and and they're a little worried too. Um there are some um strangers in town. And it's it's creeping people out. Do we uh hear where they're Holding up. Sad that they're Why no, it's creeping people out. But there've been they, they've there's been groups of hooded figures walking around the town at night. Uh and um like it's it's creeping some of the reg some of the normal people out. Oh yeah, like some of the hooded figures at the play. You mean like the canker cult people? No, uh, during the Founder Festival. Oh, oh. Uh, no, no, no. There wasn't anybody hooded at the Founders Festival. Oh, I thought there were some sneaky people that we were there trying were, to follow. There were the two people that you saw at the Founders Festival talking to uh, Valrajani and uh -huh. some other people um, were... Um, they've, they introduced themselves as, as Credence had cried. Uh, and they... Um, you actually saw them... Um, 
two weeks ago, I believe, in this very bar, meeting up with someone yeah, yeah. and passing some documents on. Yeah, they yeah, discovered the sketch. documents. I kind of looked at the documents because I went over in disguise, and they were a part of the the Cortos Consortium. Cortos Consortium. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So a different group of people. Yes. I that. Yes. Okay. So wow, we spend a couple days in the dungeon, and the city's falling apart. Wow, you guys need us. Yeah, I think we ought to stay here, guys. What do you think? I think we should look for a famed ranger monster hunter that could find uh, the basilisk. Oh, I cannot oh, wait. wait. It's me. I'm the, I'm the monster hunter. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to assume I'm done cleaning my bedroll, so I find I will rejoin the, with the party okay. uh, with my damp bedroll. Does that thing ever dry? It just uh, smells like <laughs> gore and mildew all I the think time. I think it's I think it's clean. I'm going to suggest that it is very clean. I was <laughs> in the river for a long time, beating it on a rock. <laughs> I feel like that is how you used to clean things, so it's clean. It's a rock beaten clean. <laughs> <laughs> To, to anybody watching, he's just down on the beach with Do a I... rock, just smashing it on this bloody sack that looks like a body from the distance. Like, I don't know why you're trying to. I said, already said I was laughing the whole time. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy to. I mean, I guess I get caught up on the news in town yeah i'm happy to i mean i'm good with roaming the roads or skulking the streets at night in disguise and seeing if we can catch up with these i have a i can be a small dwarven scamp named the dane nicknamed the dane <laughs> uh with a vaguely irish accent <laughs> i think i think uh for the sake of the spirit of the town we should hunt the monster first probably true and not for she was glory or valor or any other reason yeah yes that was a road like the coastal she was found like out the coastal road to absalom is that like it was on the way to the fish camp um uh it was that direction uh slightly right. off of there though like it was more heading straight to absalom as opposed oh, to see. going along the the river or going gotcha. along the beach Yeah, I mean, I we can rope. I mean, if it's in that direction, I wouldn't mind trying to stop by the camp and uh, uh, we could drop the axe off or whatever, and make sure that whatever that godforsaken creature is that we left there hasn't <laughs> had parties while we were away. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, you guys, I mean, if you guys want to go back to the fish camp, you're welcome to it. It's up to you. You let me know. I so we, Do we, we want to talk to the guard guy first? Yeah, yeah, let's figure out or any more information we have about where she, where her stone body was found. What do they do with it? Just leave it there? Um, You can go and ask. Yeah, like, oh, I don't like talking to people. Make, make sure to make the wrong decisions. <laughs> Which, where, where should we go for a guard? Where, who should we ask about this? Uh, larder long saddle. Yeah. All right. Where, where is this person? Uh, it's. Is he at the garrison? I forget. Yes, he is usually at the yeah. garrison. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's go him. Let's go. Um. Okay. Hold on just one second. I got a new thing. Hold on just one second. Gross. Uh oh no, I don't have a token for Lardis. Crap. Okay, well, never mind. Uh so oh. you're gonna go over to the um uh to the garrison and talk to Lardis Long Saddle. Um if you remember, he is the the drunkard who um uh runs the Atari garrison, uh, but he's pretty no nonsense. Uh he's like um Oh yeah, uh we uh we um, Alaria was uh, worried about her partner and uh, she sent us out to go check the roads. Uh, she goes, um, 
uh, we um, ended up heading over to uh, up the road a bit and we discovered her uh, her petrified corpse uh, in the road along with a couple of uh, petrified kobolds um, and uh, huge chunks had been taken out of her we did talk with Vandy Banderdash about uh, cures for petrification like this. Uh, unfortunately, there this was a lost cause. Where did you take her? Um, her remains. Uh, we uh, sent a cart up and got her remains and brought them back to um, to uh, Aloria. Uh, I don't know what she's done with the remains since then. Okay, maybe maybe it will be bad for him to go ask to see, to look at the wounds. Maybe that would seem insensitive. I yeah, it's like, did you me. could you tell what caused the wounds, or he did goes, it seem post rock? Or we just assumed that whatever beast turned her to stone also took the chunks out of her. Uh, we haven't seen much of this. So needless to say, my men did not stay in the area for very long. <laughs> the kobolds, is there a kobold camp nearby or? No, actually we haven't, we haven't really um, had any, any issues with kobolds. The kobolds you encountered under the city are the only kobolds we've seen in the area in a while. Hmm. Interesting. Anything else odd or weird anybody saw or? He goes, no, not as far as I know, um, you know, it, it was a pretty straightforward situation. She was obviously hijacked on the on the uh, on the road a lot and either by the kobolds and then they were both attacked by the creature or, you know, the creature was lurking in the area and came and um, and attacked them. Can you take us to the spot? Uh, he goes, directions. he goes, I'm not going to travel that wrong, but I can give you directions on how to get up there. And he kind of, you know, draws a little thing on a bev nap and hands it to you. <laughs> okay. Great. Pretty helpful. Well, you guys, you know, don't work for him or anything. He's not beholden to yeah. you. That's true. So well, where he goes, the... he, he does say, by the way. He goes, uh, the mayor talked to me about the ruins and how you guys have been investigating them after the after the gaunt light showed down on the on the graveyard. Is there is there anything that I need to know about that? Uh it's all sort of fucked up in there. <laughs> That's... You might want to have like a guard constantly like if you have a spyglass or something, just like looking out in that area. He goes, you think Open, we need... There's minflits, there's dragons, there's everything. There's giant worms. It's a it's a party in there. <laughs> the giant worm was dead, so... He doesn't need to know that. Oh, well, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, so, weird. I've got a copy of you over here trick over near the pond i see your name oh no that was it was your, oh, it was was your was... cursor uh, I'm dumb. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh anyway um so so he he takes you seriously he uh decides he says okay look what we're gonna do uh i'm gonna set up uh, a couple of uh guards up on the uh trail heading to the fog fen he goes, uh, and we'll keep we'll keep a lookout up there and make sure nothing's coming down the road. Ooh. Just tell him not to go near, especially when the gauntlet lights up. He goes, oh, don't worry. Nobody wants to head up there. You're the only ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, well, I guess we like this city. It's been pretty nice to us, and the festival was fun, so... We'll try to do our part and keep it safe. He's like, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, killing dragons was a good start. <laughs> Trick gives him a salute and then he heads out. Okay. <laughs> I just linger a moment and add in a somber tone that two guards will not waken the hell that stirs within and then leave. 
Okay. Uh, why don't you roll a make an impression roll? I'm using Scoot to flash all kinds of mystic symbols while yes. I'm doing this, just to. Oh well. Uh, you make a very um, terrifying uh, pronouncement, and then um, it's uh, it, 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 he just kind of looks at you. He's like, "Okay, good, good." good. I have to. Pra I'm trying to practice socializing, so that's you know, uh, okay. So what I will, what you can do is, if you want to, uh, Brond, you can go over to Magaloy and see if he can't make those potions for you. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll go over there and uh, hit him up, and and as I'm looking through the, the layers I, and whatnot. Okay. I have three. I have three anti venom potions on me. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just going through the. Uh, yeah, I'll ask him if he can. He can make us uh, uh, some anti plague, uh, lesser anti plague potions. Okay. Uh, are you going to ask him to make some rock. more anti-venoms, too, so that, they, so that they're available if you ever come shopping? Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Okay. Um, Not a bad idea. Uh, if you can't do it, remember, I can always just crash up and waste a day if we do that. Yeah. Or really two days. So I, well, I can get the recipe, but... Uh, it's common, isn't it? You don't need the recipe. Well, you don't. It takes two days if you don't have the recipe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or the formula. One if you do. So it just saves a day. Okay. So, so Magalo is like, my friends, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. He goes, what can I do for you? He's very Looking excited to, to see uh, you. Uh, get some uh, anti-plague uh, potions made if you, you have any. I don't, I don't see any here. And, uh, you know, I also see you don't have any anti-venom potions either. I, I think we're good on those right now, but uh, we, we may need some of them in the future. Uh, you might want to keep uh, a few of them on hand. Uh, just, you know, there's a bit of a... You know, there's there's always nasties out there, and yeah. Yeah. He goes, oh, he goes, oh. Well, I'm starting some new batches of potions today. I will get on that, and they should be available for you in about three days. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. He's very excited to make you potions. Yeah. It gives him a chance to make stuff he doesn't normally make. But who is who is that? Magaloy at Crow's Casks. Crow's, Crow's Casks. Okay, okay. Yeah. So where on the uh, Atari map, if I we zoom out on this, like which, if I tag like over here, the the the, per, the direction he get, how the hell do you tag again? Um, oh, it's to the tag. northeast, following that oh. road out. Oh, through uh, the woodlands here. Okay. Yeah, it goes through the woods yeah. and then it goes east and then it gotcha. splits a little farther up. There's some, uh, there's some lumberjack and farmlands up avail up there. A lot of farms. Um, and then the the road splits and heads like east to the west gate of Absalom. Okay. Well, Trick is ready to head out if everybody else is. I yep. am ready to Where are we off. going? To find where, where this per person was turned to stone. Okay. Yeah. Um Okay. So I'm gonna take you to where it is. Now, this particular map still has the stone figure in it. So let's just pretend that you guys, uh, all the placement of the things there is as if um, she is not there anymore, but her, like, you can see where the cart picked her up and drug her in. Wait, who am I missing? I'm missing... There we go. I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to place a couple of kobolds here. These are kobold statues. They are not kobolds. They are what used to be kobolds. Cool. Oh. So there are still kobolds running around here. Yeah. Obviously getting themselves turned to stone. So here you are. This is where the body was found. 
Uh, I recall knowledge on the wounds. Now, you don't see her here. Oh, right, right. Yeah, oh, she's cobalt, not here. Though. Oh, the cobalts are, are they just stone or are they? Oh, all? no, yeah, they've got, oh, you're right. They've got chunks taken out of them, too. Yeah, I'd like to see if we have an idea of what this creature is. Okay. Um, yeah, you're pretty sure that this was a, this was a basilisk. Okay, and I did a tracking roll to see if I can figure out, uh, um, yeah, you see some tracks and they're going out to the West. Hmm. Well, I tell everybody, it's like, Hey, I see the tracks. Let's check what, them out. Um, like, what's the standard okay. operating? What do we do here? We don't have, we bought a mirror or we just try to not look at it or. Oh yeah. What do we, uh, know? What do we know about the basilisk's ability to turn people to stone true. from the bite or from the gaze or I mean, what do our characters know? Uh, you'll need to do a, um, recall knowledge. Let me see what type of knowledge this is. This is nature. Okay. I just did the generic recall. So, okay. okay. Hmm. Although I'm not the nature person. Um, yeah, yeah that, that would be me. What is it you're asking about? Uh, what is the ability? How do they turn their victims to stone? Uh, through their gaze. That pretty much answers it. I don't need to roll. What well, is there any good way to fight them without uh, turning to stone? Don't look at them. Is there any good way to fight them? <laughs> uh, so that was two questions. Um, uh, we'll need another recall knowledge for this third question. Is it nature yep. still? Um, you're not, sh oh, no, wait, yeah, you are, um, you're, you think that probably what you'd have to do is close your eyes to fight it, and it, it basically would be, um, hidden to you the whole time. Unless you seek it out with another imprecise sense, like, like, your audio, like, listening for them and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Well, I relay all that. Can we lay a trap? Do we know how to do that? Can we make a trap for this thing to fall I into? I think that's a ranger thing, and I've never really... I haven't looked into it. Snares? Bought a net. It's probably a <laughs> how about a net? Can we rig up a... Uh, what if we tried to rig something up that would drop... Uh, something I'm gonna just throw out a bedroll on its head <laughs> so it couldn't see. <laughs> we have rope and I have a bedroll. Could we rig a tripwire up? What do we think our odds of doing? It sounds like this is a guaranteed Rip. success. It ripped either flesh or stone. <laughs> so I think a bedroll. But a bedroll is big. <laughs> it's big and disorienting. It's like when you throw a sleeping bag in somebody and they can't get out for fifteen minutes. <laughs> like a like a ghoul. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, could, I, I'm just throwing stuff out there. I don't know. Like, uh, we can also. Uh, I think an ambush. I, oh, I have a spike trap. Why the hell? Like, what does a spike trap do? Uh, this basic snare consists of <clears throat> hidden spikes that rely on a creature's momentum to lacerate or impale it. Dealing 2d8, it's clearly enough damage to kill it. Um, yeah, so we could set a spike. It looks like this is an item I had to purchase, so we could set a spike trap up and try to how we make it go through a spike trap. I don't know. Can we just go kill it? <laughs> Is that so, an easier approach? Maybe if you could prop your bedroll up and like paint face on it and then put your lights on it and then put the trap right in front of it. Okay, so bear with <laughs> me here. Sunkoth is here, right? Yeah. Do we know that basilisks like cats? Could we have Sunkoth stay in the road and like 
mew like he is injured, and it will lure the basilisk out through the spike trap. Basilisk. Why are basilisks attracted to injured cats? What? I, I, that's I don't know. That's what. That's <laughs> in my. I mean, <laughs> what do I know? What What I know about them? Yes, they they can't get enough. I'd rather not uh, have my pet be bait. <laughs> I don't think Scoot is a big enough uh, attraction. <laughs> it could, I could make Scoot appear to be an injured centipede in the road and see if the basilisk is somehow attracted to it. <clears throat> I look, I look to the, I look to Brond, like seeing like what what the read is from the fighter on all these banger ideas. What's over here? Brond just shrugs. He's like, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, it's just a little clearing. I think we should try to code. I think we should try to throw. It's not going it, to just a hail mary pass to throw something on its head, and then we kill it in a round. I think hmm. that I think that could work. I think if I just hold the bedroll up in front of me, like a shower curtain. Maybe you could work. animate your ropes and try to tie it around its neck. <laughs> this is entirely two three stooges for me to. <laughs> <laughs> I, po I poke him in the eyes with my first two fingers. <laughs> um, I think animate rope. I mean, any spell would have to. I don't know. We'd, I'd probably need to target it, right? I would need to see what I'm doing. Yeah. I don't know. I. I we should find it before we make any plans. Activity upstairs. I'll okay. be right back. We'll find it, and we can tell it to have uh, a second while we. Do we see any uh, activity of other kobolds around? <laughs> Um, I don't know. Give me some kind of a nature check. Survival check. Um, you don't detect anything. Okay. Well, you see fact, tracks. The tracks are here, but they're, they're not conclusive. They don't show where they came from or where they were going. Mm-hmm. But we do think you, you have from... tracked the basilisk off to the west of the map, right? Somewhere yeah. in the woods here. But not the kobolds. So you want to go try to find it and then then look at the situation and figure out what we're going to do. Yeah. Okay. I take. But yeah, my I guess. Uh... Yeah, I'm willing to go there. I'm going. I do have my bed roll out and in my hands and in front of me, so I can like use it to shield my vision or other things. Okay. And also, it needs to dry a little more, so this is helpful. And, so you guys uh, are going to go tromping through the woods. Yeah, yeah I imagine they're following us. Yeah. I'm Maybe pay like, hey, like ten feet back. Okay, I'm, let's uh, get a little marching order together. Yeah. And okay, just kind of up here on the road. Um, oh, and oh. show me how you guys are going through the woods. Okay, I'll be a good bit ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll be there. I'm not sure what we're going to do. And then do we need strange. to set our actions? Our yes, set your exploration actions. I'm on scout still. I don't know if I should change to something else. I um I don't think I need I'm not gonna scout very well anyway, I saw but I think I will keep the but the tech magic is gonna make noise. Are we trying to be quiet while we're doing this? Yeah, I have uh avoid notice as my exploration. I don't think I should um Oh, I don't have my activities set up. Let me see. I'll do be doing scout as well. Your scout should probably be out front. Okay. So we're going at half speed because you're also trying to be stealthy. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, you're going at half speed if you're doing any exploration actions. But avoid notice slows you down further, I think, doesn't it? I don't well, think I'm so. Not, if, I'm a, if I'm in front, I'm going to scout. Um... Yeah, no, um, yeah, no, um, there is, there, every, every exploration action removes your speed by a half, except for hustle, which doubles it. All right, if I'm not scouting, what am I doing? Uh, We're picking exploration urge. actions, honey, for a chunk, for a trip through oh, the woods. Okay. okay, awesome. Okay, so exploration. 
me. Uh, I'm really good at deciphering writing. <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> Are you doing anything, um, Zinger? Uh, no, I'm not. Does that, that anything I do would be redundant, and I'm not going to risk making spell casting sounds and sights and noises. Okay. You could investigate. Is anyone sensing direction? Well, I investigate what isn't. I'm not sure what the context would be that in which I'm doing that. Investigate would be like looking for clues of the thing yeah. you're seeking. Right, but that's but in this in this context it would be search, right? I'm not really going through paperwork or anything. I mean, if you're going to count that as a separate thing, I can do it. But well, I mean, it's slightly different. When you're doing investigate, you are trying to use recall knowledge as you travel along to figure out clues about things. Correct. Yeah, when searching is like using searching is basically perception as you go investigating is usually in the context of land. I'm not sure how I investigate a basilisk, but if you allow yeah. such a thing, I'll set it. But yeah. Uh, oh, I also have expeditious search, mm -hmm. so I can search at a uh, normal speed. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Is there well, but that, I'm, I'm not for? sure that's an exploration. Does it let you do that in exploration? Uh, I mean, that's exactly what it's for, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Is it? Look at maximum again. speeds. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. Um, and I can set investigate if if it. Okay. I mean, sure. To you, if it does it, but. <clears throat> okay, so um, I'm gonna have. Let me see. Um, you're scouting. Um, give me. A nature check. You guys start tromping through the woods. Um, and you're heading, I assume, due west here on this piece of road. Uh, and following the tracks of the basilisk. Um, you are following it quite well. Um, you see its tracks. It is moving through the woods. Um, and uh, I'll just go ahead and say that you are pretty convinced the tracks are getting more and more fresh. Well, as I think we're getting closer, I'm like trying to listen, searching <clears throat> for any kind of movement. Yeah. Okay. Give me a, uh, give me a perception check. <clears throat> you, after you guys walk about probably, um, maybe a mile uh, and a half into the woods, um, you are absolutely convinced that you're you're very near the creature. That if you just go over this next little ridge, it's going to be right there. The tracks you're following are extremely fresh at this point in time. Uh, guys, okay. guys, what what's our plan again? So I think what we're going to do what? is try to find it first. <laughs> I think I might throw, I could either use telekinetic hand or throw the <clears> ball <throat> off into another direction and see if we can flush it out. And then it might have its back to us then. If we hide and from the concealed location, I throw the ball. We think maybe it'll, it'll hear the ball land and go that direction. Why do so many of your plans involve this ball? Um, I bought it. It cost me money. I, I feel like I'm wasting. <laughs> I kind of hold the pink ball up expectantly. Like it's, and, and mouth foolproof. Uh, um, I can also telekinetic hand and try to like drop a, you know, make some noise off in the distance. I can try to sneak up first. Just to get eyes before we do anything dumb. Um, I, I don't I know that anybody proposed anything, anything dumb, anything. but okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna, yeah, Trick's going to tell everybody to hold back and he's going to crawl and try to sneak it. Oh, wait. This is my moment to shine. I, I forgot about that. Okay. You sneak uh, up to the top of the ridge. And you look over. Mm -hmm. 
you see some kind of creature over there. I'm going to go ahead and pull it over here as if we are fighting it here in this little field here. I think it's... Um, I mean, it's dangerous for you to even be looking at that. <laughs> yeah, I moused over it and now my hand won't move. So I, I... <laughs> While we are standing here, uh, we're on. Oh, man. I don't know. So, what I'm going to do oh, is I'm going to put it over here. We're going to pretend this is our. I'm going to move these kobolds out of the way. We're going to pretend this is our situation here. Okay. You have crept over and you see. The backside. backside. Actually, hold on. Let me do this. Up water. You see, you see the it is it is currently looking to your right, but it does not appear to have detected you. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to turn back to the party and just like point in my eyes and then point where it is and then like a shush motion. motion. So I'm going to change color to match the forest and kind of hide off the trail. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to hide. So, I'm not really hiding from anything, so I guess it's not required, but um. My my intention is to camouflage to the color of the forest. Okay. Just by changing my skin color and and going uh, up around to the top of the ridge without going over it and waiting there. Okay. Well, I can't. There we go. Oh, I can't actually go into that part. No, there is a I'll wall there. there. Yeah, yeah. No sweat. I'll go like there. Okay. I'll, but yeah. I am hidden, uh, or I'll make a hide if you want to use it. Uh, I really want you to make a go. sneak if you're moving quietly. I don't mind okay. you being hidden, but you're 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 walking through the woods. Uh, okay. Okay. You feel like you've you feel like you've you know moved kind of quietly. Yeah, I dev I want to like try to hide in the bushes as well, stand up and then draw my bow. So I'll do a stealth too. Uh, wait. Hold on. I need to do something. I'm still holding my bedroll too. <laughs> you know what? Your good luck. If Tom. this fight goes uh, wrong, okay. Uh -oh. I'll be behind a really impressive looking statue. Let's uh, go ahead and start uh, initiative. Uh, yes, we're doing a blend. Uh, we're doing a custom campaign of. Uh, beginner's box, um, trouble in Otari, and abomination vaults. Um, okay, everybody's rolled. Singer, there we go. Oh, I rolled privately. That's fine. So I don't know what I rolled. Okay, well, um, so, uh, the so. You guys hear some stirring on the other side of the hill. And it's probably from you guys walking around over here. And that's all that you know. Because there's a... I'm going to put you back one space. There's a little ridge. Like, I'm going to put a little marker on here. There's a little... That's not what I meant to do. I want a line. There's a little ridge here. And you can't see over it. So it is now Calliope's turn. He didn't do anything. You heard um, movement on the other side of the hill. Oh, I'm just so excited about that. Um, well, I can't hit anything right now, so I'm going to, and everybody's healed, 
So I'm going to move forward. One. That's five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. That feels good. I like 20. 20 is <laughs> my friend. Um, and then I'm just going to double check that I don't want to cast anything. No, I'm good. Oh, could I have the cat? Yes, I will give you your cat. Hold on a second. And then here's Scoot also. There's just Scoot. Just double check. Just double check. Everybody, does Everybody does. No one needs a heal, right? I didn't miss anything. You're all good. Yeah, you should we all be healed up. Control. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I am done with my turn. I will linger here. Next are you to gonna ready an action? Are you gonna delay? Are you gonna do anything like that? Or are you just not doing anything else? Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right. I should do that. Well, I moved. I'll delay um, my other two actions then, for when. Um, well, no. Uh, so if if you're gonna if you're gonna do what you did, you can't have moved already. What you can do is you can take an action and hold it and then set conditions on it. Oh. You can be like, if I if something comes over the ridge, I'm going to throw a dart at it. And it takes one more action than the action you're trying to do. Okay, so the hold takes an action itself. Yes. So I can't say since I've moved and that's one action and the hold will be one action. A lot of my spells are for two, so I can't do any of those. Oh, that would have been nice to... You can go back if you want to. You can go back to the old place. Oh, no, no. No, it's okay. Um... Oops, that's not what I had to do. Sorry. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll go back. Hang out okay. Here. Now there's Where two things you can do. You can ready a spell so that like you set you put a condition on it. Like if anything if I see anything moving, I'm going to shoot it with my thing. Okay? Or you can say I'm going to hold my action and then we'll just put you at a um at an initiative number sometime after somebody else whenever you choose. I'll hold my action. Okay. So it is now Kupiri's okay. turn. Okay. And and you see, I don't want to be the cause of problems for the group, but I have a gun. That's like my <laughs> one tool. Well, um, no, and leaping. And leaping a reasonable distance. Um, Do they look up? Can they look up? Can Basilis look up? I don't know. Probably. All right. So Kupiri knows that the basilisk is there. Yes. But the basilisk seemingly does not know. Well, you know that there is a basilisk somewhere over there. You don't see it. Okay. There is a ridge. We are all aware. Because because there. Trick said there is a thing over there. Okay, I look at everyone and shrug and then step forward. Are you sneaking? Uh, I'm not sneaking particularly. Okay. And I'm stepping up here to see if I can see the thing. Okay, you see the thing and it is looking at you. So at this point in time... I would like for you to do the thing I put in chat. I need you to do a DC fortitude, DC 20 fortitude save. Oh my. Where can I click? Uh, hold on just a second. Let me see how that, uh, here, I'll put it in chat. I can just do it. I mean, here, did that, there you go. There you go. I mean, it was up there, right? The creature must attempt a fortitude save. It was just camouflaged. Yes. Okay. You succeed. Um, you are. Um, you are fine. Awesome. Okay. And. That was 15 feet. 
or it's as close as I can get. Yep. I will go ahead and take a shot at it. Okay. I need everyone in the forest to know that we are fighting something. I will miss. Okay. And then I will reload, and that is my turn. Okay. At this okay. point in time, the basilisk is no longer holding its action. And it stares at you with its with all of its petrifying gaze. And I need you to make a DC 22 fortitude save. So what is it worth since uh, this is a game mechanic that you have to know that there is an avert gaze action that. Gives well, you, you can save. you can cl you can turn off your eyes. You can say, "I close my eyes," and at that, you can do point, that. But there's also an avert gaze specifically in the rules if you're trying to not look at something. Okay, but I don't know anything I don't know, about. I don't, that. I don't know. It's just but, called avert gaze. I just don't know if if spent. You know, if Kapiri didn't know that was an action and there was an action wasted, that might be something oh, a yeah. player would reasonably have done. But it's not you looking at the basilisk; it's it looking at you. The yeah. Basilisk. Yes. Yeah, it's, it, well, no, you have to meet its gaze. I mean, avert gaze is for a, a, a petrifying uh, gaze. It gives you plus two circumstance that requires you to look at it, such as Medusa. Yes. Uh, uh, it, it's just, I'm just throwing it out there because it, yes. it might be an action that if you place it in action, you would have taken, but not, not for not knowing there was such an action to take. Yeah, it so gives you a plus a, two bonus. avert gaze is a one action thing where you avert your gaze from danger and you get a plus two circumstance bonus to saves against visual abilities that require you to look at a creature or object. Okay. The, uh, so in this particular case, it would have been a DC 20 for the petrifying gaze. So you got a 17. So you fail. Yeah. And I will be re-rolling that. Okay. Oh. That's going to be a 20, which will meet. Now that required you to take an action, so you wouldn't have been able to reload. I, I and and I reloaded, so it's Yes, that's that's not something that he could have done. Okay. Yeah. Um but the uh, good news is, is that you're now slowed one. And then the basilisk steps up to you. And that is the end of his turn. Brond is your turn. All right. Um. I kind of feel like I should have let Bron do that. <laughs> you were first in, in initiative. Bron's going to avert his gaze and then sudden charge up. Okay. And attack. 5, 10, 15, 20. Sudden charge lets me uh, stride twice and attack for two. Okay. So, yep. So I'm within my three. Yeah. And uh, ba, ba, ba. striking. Let me make sure my smoking's not turned on. Okay, I'm not. Power attack, turn off. And now strike. Oh, oh I hit. That's good. Okay, that's going to hit. Right. And you do 12 points of damage to the Basilisk. And now I have to do the four. Nope. Oh, oh, because he didn't look at me. All right. Uh, His petrifying glance is a reaction. Mm. Oh, actually, wait, I wouldn't have been able to do that first petrifying glance because he held his thing. Right. Because he didn't right. even. I was wondering about that. But yeah. They still get their reaction if they if you delay your turn. Yeah, but it comes after your turn. Not before it. So I screwed that up. So here we'll do we'll do a petrifying glance on Brond. There you go. So there's two things here. There's a gaze and a glance. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're saying you think you can't you averted use it. your you eyes, 
So you had a plus two. Did it not add that into it? It did not, but it's fine. Oh, it did not. Huh. Okay. That's weird. But Oops. well, you didn't. Yeah. Did you key so, in the action? Did you click it? No, I didn't. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. So yeah. And when I click on it, it's not one of the things there. So yeah. Um, so it would have been a 21. Right. Which passes the, the petrifying glance. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So I'm yep. good. Yeah. So that's the end of your turn. It is now Trick's turn. Okay. Uh, now, another thing that you guys can do is you guys don't even have to worry about averting your gaze. You could just close your eyes and then you'll have to do a flat check using imprecise senses. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to move up to see it, right? Yeah. Okay. One. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and close my eyes. Okay. Now you can... Um, the, the creature is currently hidden to you. I'll go ahead and put hidden on him. I forget. Let me... So move, I'm going to make him my hunted target. Okay. Let's zoom in a little bit. So I seek what I do when I close my eyes. Um, so um, you'll need to seek next turn to right now you you looked at him and then closed your eyes so he's hidden to you okay yeah. um if you if if he if he goes again i believe you'll need to seek him again using your imprecise sentence senses okay hunt and prey gives me bonus to seek okay is why i was yes but right now i can attack him normally yep okay. there'll still be then a I'll flat check Okay, it should do that automatically. Yep. Yeah. You passed your flat check and you critically missed. Uh, Reroll that critical miss. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do it. You still missed. Yeah. I'm assuming you're, I'm taking your flat check from the last time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, I did my two shot attack, so at least I get a second attack. Yes. Okay, missed. you missed. Okay, it is currently Zinger's turn. What, what's the size of this thing? It is medium. Okay. Um, I am. I'm still holding my bedroll up. For my first action, I'm getting. I'm commanding Scoot. Uh, Scoot is going to climb onto the top of the bedroll. I'm holding the bedroll like a shower curtain in front of me. Okay. I don't know if Scoot's affected by this thing or not. There'll be a new Scoot in the morning. So <laughs> Scoot, uh, Scoot can talk, and Scoot is going to guide me. Okay. Uh, so I've had Scoot go up there, and I've, I've commanded him to, like, just we're gonna he's going to tell me directions to go. I'm going to crest the hill. My second action is a move, so I'm cresting the hill okay. slowly. Uh, this is five. That's my diagonal, yeah. five. Uh, I'm just going to glance at the feet of the basilisk, you know, under raise the curtain enough to see like the feet and then just let Scoot guide me. Okay. I'm going to try to use the rest of my turn with Scoot's guidance to move. Okay. All the way to here. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20 uh, diagonally here. Yeah. And then I'm going to, for my third action, take the bedroll and just kind of lay it on top with me of the basilisk. It's like a lizardy thing, right? Like yes. His, his, his head like in crocodilian in some way no Hard no it's see. more it, it appears to be more like uh like venom-esque like it's got a but, but the head is like a, it's on a long neck like i'm just wanting to just throw i know it can shake it off maybe yeah uh but whatever it might last a turn and we might can kill it so i'm just you know enveloping it in the bedroll okay and you know it, but the bedroll is between me and it yeah uh, and it's, it's a heavy wet bedroll that nothing of this world could bite through that, uh, <laughs> this is true okay so you're gonna throw your bedroll at it 
Well, I'm yeah, I'm going to maintain some control of the bedroll uh, too. I'm kind of leaning in on it, but yeah, I mean, I'm kind of just draping it over it. So you're gonna, I'm not so basically you're back and throwing it like a parachute. Would you say you're dr maybe grappling it? You're kind of like putting it over it and hugging That's it. Probably a fair enough check. Yeah. So you want me to do grapple? Yes. <laughs> It's not going to be great, but I'm no. not trying to hit it. But I mean, I, I would think the DC, I would argue the DC for like just draping a blanket over something is lower than a DC to hit for a melee attack. But well, I mean, I don't think it heart, wants, so. I don't think it necessarily wants to have something put over its head. And so it might do a little bit of wiggle, you know? Right. Okay, I'm still trying it. Uh, you do uh, not. I say... Oh, I don't know. What, I didn't have it targeted, but a fourteen is probably not going to get it. Yes, no, that is that is very low. So, so what? Where is the blank? Where is so the you you've cut you've kind of pushed forward and are trying to lay it on there, but you can't quite. He's he's kind of wiggling and getting away from you. So the blanket is not he, but he's not moving his from the space he's in. No, no, he doesn't have that Actually, ability. So it's not on him in any way. No. Oh, it's still in front of you, though. Okay. okay. Calliope, it is your turn. Oh, wait. Actually, you should have picked somebody to go after, so we're going to put you at the end of last turn. I get to go twice? Well, no, you're going you're gonna to get to go once. I'm going to put you at nine. And uh, there you are. You're on. You're, you're, you're at the end of the round. Great. <laughs> hey. It's like I gave up my great roll. It's fine. I don't care. All right, so I am going to jaunt forward because I, he can't see me right now. Um, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yep, that's 25. That's all I can go, right? No. All right, and go 30. What am I? You're... you're... 25. Okay. Oh, that says that's 25 feet. But that's two diagonals. Yes, because so the second that. diagonal is five feet as well. Okay. Yep. Right, so I think that's where I am. Um, I... Can I... He's a direct line here. Yeah, but you don't see him because there's a ridge where that red line is. Ah, okay. So I'm going to need to move again. Mm. I'll take hidden off of him for now. Um, so he's not taught. We have to get past that or to the ridge at least. Yes. To see him. All righty. Five. And then 10. And I am looking at the ground here. Um, I am averting. So that's so that's my turn then. Yeah. Because if I have my eyes so that I don't see him, I've moved twice and averted my eyes. Yes. That's so great. Okay. Yeah. I'm thrilled. I'm like, ooh, party. Okay. That's my turn. That's my turn. It is now Kupiri's turn. Okay. Does this slowed one mean that I only have two actions? Yes. You feel your joints getting stiff. You're like, Arr! it's like you're old, like me. All right. Well, I'm going to very bravely close my eyes and fire blindly in the direction. Okay. Of this thing. So he will be hidden to you. Yep. All right. You hear Bronze hit the ground. <laughs> that is a hit. On a flat check. That's a shame. Oh, yeah. the twenty was on the flat check. Aw, that's not fair. Okay. See, if we were tabletop, you could say that twenty is for. <laughs> um, and that's uh, two actions. So that's my turn. Okay. It is now the basilisk. Oh no! Wait, I closed my eyes. That's not an action. That's true. That's true. 
Uh, sorry, I get one more. Let me. Yes, you do. Hold on, let me move you back. But you're slowed though, right? So you. Yeah, yeah but I, get... I still get two actions. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. So I will reloading strike. That's gonna miss. Okay. Okay. Now I'm done. It is now the basilisk's turn. Um. Brond hurt him, so he is going to turn his gaze to him. And he's going to do his petrifying gaze at you. I need you to do a DC fortitude save. Oh, that is a critical failure. Oh, Brond. It's been nice knowing you. Oh, that does a crit. A crit you know, the bad thing about Brond is he's so big and hard to carry back if he's a statue. Uh, that is also a critical failure. Uh -huh. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll just decorate him over there with the, oh. you know. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I was muted there. Um, yeah, so. Uh... Okay. Well, the good news is I do not think that there is any critical failure thing on this. You are just slowed. Okay. If. Uh... Okay. Yeah, it's still okay. Sounds good. Uh, and then he's going to uh, uh, bite you because you heard it. He's gonna, he's gonna go he chomp. Like... He said, he's Ow. gonna go patchouli chomp, oh, and he true. hits. No, uh... <laughs> no, uh... there you go. Nine points of damage, and that oh, is. Uh... The Basilisk's turn. Bron, what are you doing? He's freshly averting his eyes. And I'm going to power attack him. Wait, power attacks, two actions? Oh, you're right. I, I'm slowed now. Hmm. So let me turn that back off. Thank you, sir. You stole You should shut your eyes. <laughs> I was about to say, so whose party are you in? <laughs> what did you, did I, I you stoke your sword? Is that what you did? What's that? What What was the, oh no. I, uh, I, I just averted my eyes. Okay. So the, you have him hidden to yes. all of us. Yes. So, but, but yeah, so I, I wouldn't have had to have done the flat check, right? Uh, no, because you're averting your uh, uh Yeah, vert gaze is just a circumstance bonus, circumstance penalty. Yeah. Uh, so you're attacking. Your eyes are still open. So no, you wouldn't have had to do the flat check. Here, I'll take hidden off of him just for good measure. So he takes another seven points of damage. And then I guess I would avert my gaze at this point. Yes. Correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Which still wouldn't make him invisible to you. Now, technically, he he can still see you. Mm -hmm. Or you can still see him, which means that he could... Um, still do something to you. Yeah. Slow you more. the cat in. Why isn't the cat doing some damage? Um, okay. Trick, as soon as he starts, as soon as your turn starts, he makes a petrifying glance at you. I need you to roll that fortitude save. Even though my eyes are shut. Oh, your eyes are shut. Never mind. I'm I'm wrong. Ignore that. Okay. Um, let me put hidden on him for you. Yeah. Is okay. it feasible to? Uh, you will. You will need to do a seek action as your first action this turn to find him. Okay. Or, or you could just guess the same square, I guess. But um, I feel like I'd have to still do a seek to know that, right? Well, I mean, it's not just GM, but I mean, uh, you, technically, you can target any square you want. Oh, that's true. That's right true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Well, I didn't hear it move, so yeah. Is it feasible for me to ask my cat to run up and attack and keep its eyes closed, or is that too silly? Um, I don't think cats really have a concept of closing eyes. I'm not sure. Um, I'll leave okay. that up to the group. You have to wrap a bandana around its head. That would be I, 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 no, I'll ask the group. I, uh, what do you guys I've think? Known, do you think you could I've tell a, a cat? Lot of cat owners. That's never been a trick I've seen demonstrated. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Slunkov sees a butterfly and he's over here like, oh, I got it. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a... Let's see if there's anything smart I can do. I'm going to make my two-shot attack. Okay. That hit... Oh, misses by one? Nice. Oh, that's just mean. Oh, that is mean. And then that misses also. And double miss. Uh, yeah. Let me think. All right. Where's the bedroll? It's, it's, on, yeah. it's on the ground near the basilisk. No, no, you said you were still holding it up in front of you. Well, I thought I. Oh, that's fine. But if I, uh, I thought the you told me like when I tried to drape it on it, like it just. Well, no, it wiggled out. away. You couldn't. You couldn't find oh, anything to lay it on. I didn't even get an attempt. Okay, I yes. understand. You missed his head, but you, I didn't assume that you dropped it. Okay. So, sure. Okay, that's a, that's three misses in a row. Yeah, that's only two actions. Oh, is it? I don't okay, feel... sorry. Yeah, because my first action was yeah. the flurry. Oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, but I don't feel like I have anything smart to do. Kick it. So I'm just going to shoot it for a fourth time. Okay. And miss. And that misses. Okay. It is now Zinger's turn. Okay. Damn. And it's still there. That almost worked last time. Um, but I maybe I should actually damage this thing, because I thought it would be dead by now. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to actually uh, start uh, casting. Scoot's still perched on top of the of the blank of the uh, sleeping bag. Can I see its outline at all through it, through this um, the fabric of the bedroll? No, I'm assuming your bedroll is absolutely opaque. All right, so I'm having to raise the bedroll up with one hand uh, enough to maybe see the feet of it. I'm right next to it. Yeah, and then I'm going to reach my other hand around and do a triple action. Uh, Force barrage. Okay. O's, force barrage O's on it. And here we go. Uh, I'm sure what that roll is supposed to be. Oh, because it's hidden. Oh, said, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. It's fine. It was not to me, right? I mean. Uh. Yeah. I'm, I'm let me. Looking let me... at it. Uh, yeah. Okay. You're looking yeah. at its feet. I, I'll give you that. Yeah. Uh, all right. Roll damage. Uh, this thing is. Still Although it does go. say when a creature can, uh, when a creature the basilisk can see within thirty feet starts its turn. It depends on how you want to rule what a gaze means. Like, does it mean like you can see a foot, or does it mean like I mean I don't know how specific the rules are. You have to just make a call. So the glance, the glance does not require. The glance does not require for the enemy to be able to see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just depends on how you rule a glance working. I mean. That would be, it would be a your call thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Glance and gaze, yeah. I mean, does a glance require eye contact, or is it? No, it does not. So I want you to make that save. Okay. Fortitude. Okay. Oh, a 16 failed. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. So you are slowed. 
So I will do only two magic missiles then. No, well, actually, I do three because that the slow that the slow starts at the start of my turn. Uh, true. You do not lose actions at the beginning of your turn. That is true. Um, so I will actually roll one more d4. Okay. Wait, that was just one d4. Why did it? Yep. That's you need two more. Oh wait, wait. Uh, the visual tag, both glance and gaze has it. It does. A visual tag can affect only creatures that can see it. Uh, it doesn't have the visual tag. It does on Archives of Nethys. Okay. 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 Then you're right. Okay. Then we'll pull the we'll we'll pull the slowed off. There we go. Um. So I'm rolling two more d4 now. Okay. Why is it still rolling one? I put two in the thing. I guess it doesn't work. Uh, roll damage one more time. Yep. There we go. Three okay, so magic missiles hit the feet of the basilisk. Total. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. It is now Calliope's turn. Hello. Calliope, did you close your eyes or did you avert your gaze? My... my gaze is averted okay currently so i need so, you to roll that okay you get a plus two circumstance bonus because you are averting your gaze you have failed so you are slowed which means next turn you will only get two actions so next turn is in my turn right now no no this happened on your turn it does not take your actions away in the turn that it happens. That's nice. All right. Well, um, I'm going to target this bad boy, and I am actually going to snowball him. Gross. <laughs> you maybe. I mean, okay. I'm so out of date. Um, I am rolling to attack. You hit. I am rolling the frickin' damage. You do five points of damage with a snowball. That's a two-action spell to do five points of damage? Oh my god, now's not the time. Let um, her, let her if, if... Hold on, wait. If you critically succeed, he gets a speed penalty. Oh, he gets a five-foot status penalty to his speeds for even... For just hitting him. Uh huh. I have slowed him. You're welcome. <laughs> Kupiri, it is your turn. All right, Kupiri. Now I technically had one more. That was. Oh, you're two, right. You're right. And I didn't move or go. Did you want to avert your gaze again? Do I have to keep doing? Yes. That? Oh my god. Now I'm just gonna close my eyes now. Okay, then what are you gonna do with your final action? Um I am going to because I know where he is, he hasn't moved yet. I just, you know, had my gaze averted, but I know where he is. So I am going to pearl pearl not chunks, but darts um darts, throwing knives. There. Uh where, why are you not jumping out here for me? Uh, click on you. Okay. It's not Don't forget, you you have a map. Oh, yeah, the minus three. Yep. Right. There we go. I, I got it. We'll see how this goes. It may be a failure. But... That misses. Well, I tried. All right. I'm done. Okay. So, Kapiri, your eyes are closed? My eyes are closed. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to play pin the tail on the donkey, except I'm using a gun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very fun stuff. Oh, look at that. You critted oh. on your on your uh, flat check. Oh, well. And that that Wait, seems missed. to happen. You missed with the other die. I don't understand what just happened See, here. He rolled a 20 this... for his flat check. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, it's weird, weird it says Basilisk is hidden. I, I thought that... He's got his eyes closed. Got... Oh, it's just is... saying why that, yes. I thought it was saying the flat check failed. Uh, never mind. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, I will follow that up with some stabby stab. Okay. Okay. You miss. You miss. 
And that's my two actions. I'm done. Okay. The um, Bron, are your eyes closed? Bron's going to close his eyes, but they are currently not. He averted his gaze last turn. Okay. They are closed. So he yeah. glares at you with his evil eye. Mm-hmm. Oh. Are you doing anything uh, about that? I thought a 21. Oh, Anyways, that's right, because no. you're averting your eyes. Oh, you're right. No. I added it, though. Oh, you yeah. did? Yes, 21 yeah. with the avert gaze. I don't know what the DC is. The DC is 22. Oh, okay. And yeah, so I many failed. times Nudge Fate would have worked in this combat. but <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Brond, you have been turned to stone. From the glance? Oh, this was his gaze. Well, you don't have chunks out of you yet, so there's hope. He turns over to Kapiri. Who's going to collect our loot now? (laughs) You're going to have to carry it yourself back, suckers. Oh, I won't. I'll be a stone statue any second here. Uh, So he takes a bite at Kapiri. And hits. Kapiri, you take 18 points of damage. Yikes. Okay. And that is his turn. Brond, you are made of stone. Trick, what would you like to do? Uh, take a bunch of shots. Okay. You miss? One, two. You hit. Yeah. Five points of damage to the Basilisk. Three. You hit. Uh, oh, no, you missed. You fail your flat check. check. Uh, Four. And that's Miss. a miss. Okay. Zinger, what are you doing? Um, I leave. <laughs> <laughs> what a great you chapter. Leave? What a great chapter in my life, these fellow companions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still holding the thing up. Yes, uh, with one hand. It's not. It's not dead. It is badly injured looking. His feet are. His feet look tore up. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'm going to uh, cast spiritual armament. Okay. I, I would never cast spiritual weapon because that would be <laughs> infringing. Because uh, <laughs> that would be against the remaster <laughs> rule. <laughs> Uh, so we'll cast it. So this will, uh, I'll keep holding it up. I'll just kind of gesture with one hand to bring the weapon out. Uh, yeah. I will make a, I don't know what I should use in this thing. Slashing? Uh, I don't think it really matters. Uh, slashing. Uh, and so the new version of this works a little differently. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, attempt it, a spell attack roll against the DC. Uh, do spirit damage if that would be more detrimental determined by the GM. Okay. Uh, after the attack, oh, that's the difference now. So it just keeps blinking from my side to the enemies. It doesn't, okay. like, wander around the map. Uh, okay, so blah, blah, blah. I do have to sustain it to keep it out. So I will now make the attack roll. Okay. You miss. Oh, I really, and I hear, I haven't hear appointed. I want to hear appoint that. Okay. And that's going to hit. That's going to hit. So that's going to be Yay. 2d8. And spirit damage would not necessarily be better. Okay. So there you go. The Basilisk takes seven points of damage. Okay. So the thing blinks back to my side. Okay. Um, and I'm, I'm holding my sheet still because I don't need to do anything to keep that weapon out. It's kind of floating around near me. Yeah. So I'm still holding my blood roll with both hands. Uh, that was two actions. So I actually have a third action that I can't uh, do much with. I could 
lay hand. Uh, can I reach? I can reach the frog. Yeah. So I uh, re get, reach around again, the side of the blanket, and touch Kapiri. Okay. That's going to heal 12 and be an AC bonus. The easiest lay on hands I've ever got. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, like hand comes around a ghost. blanket and touches you in the face. <laughs> okay, you God, are God. healed. Um, Pass. Calliope, it is your turn. Yes. You have averted I... your eyes, right? You have not closed no, them. I... Oh, you closed no, them? Closed okay, them so he is hidden time. to you. Yep. yep. Um, I don't have anything that can bring Rond back right now. I don't believe. Uh, yeah. I've yeah. Stabilized. I've stabilized, but that's really not what we want here. Um. So oh sorry, Bron. I'm just gonna continue with my fighting of the thing. Uh, it's all good. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. So I am going to. Use Ray of Frost, keeping with the, let's, um. Oh, you failed your flat check. I'm not going to use Ray of Frost because I can't. Okay. See him. Like, oh, I would have cast it, but never mind. So that's two. So that's yep. two. Um, and then I guess I could try again with um, pitching a knife at him. And uh, see what happens. I'll probably fail something. So, you know, that you be a flat check. Oh, yes. No. Yeah. Okay. It is Kupiri's turn. That was fun. All right. So, Kupiri oh. doesn't actually know about Brond. Yes. Kupiri's eyes. Actually, sweetheart, you only have two actions anyway. I forgot you're slowed. Uh, oh, I, I'm yes. slowed? Oh, I yeah. forgot about that. Oh, well. I didn't hit him anyway. It's yeah. fine. Kupiri is just going to take another shot at the place he assumes the thing is. Okay. You that missed sucks. your flat check. Depressing. That sucks. Uh, now, do you have a hero point to redo the flat check? I don't. Oh. I, keep forgetting. I have hero points. I keep forgetting. I wasted my hero point earlier. All right. I will follow that up with a short sword attack. Okay. Yeah. And that's a critical miss. All right. Weird. That was fun. Weird. Who's up next? Uh, uh, it's the Basilisk's yeah. turn. This is, this is a uh, He turns his gaze to... Calliope. Oh, wait, your eyes are closed, right? Yeah. Is yeah. Trick's eyes closed? Okay. Well, it's still alive. Like nobody's looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> so he decides to do some attacks then. He attacks Kupiri. Thanks. Next to him. Yep. And critically hits. You. Doing 24 points Damn, of damage. I healed. Uh... Kupiri is still up. He turns. Kupiri does that thing where you cough and blood comes out. <laughs> uh, he turns to. No, y'all did that. Do I get any kind of circumstantial bonus for having this giant impenetrable wall of bedroll in front of me? Uh, I, I'm gonna say no. As a well, matter of fact, I was. Eight, so... Yeah, I, I was. I was <laughs> gonna assume that in general it probably gave you a worse AC because you couldn't see what he was doing. Um, I have a name. Uh, uh, <laughs> so you get hit. Okay. And then he moves. Okay. Well, now we're fucked. And now it is Bronze's turn. Oh, so I'm sorry. What it, I meant to say was. Is it so? <laughs> it's Trick's <laughs> turn. As soon as the bass one starts moving after it bites me through my. Um, bedroll somehow uh, and I notice its feet scurrying on the ground. I start yelling, it's on the move to the party. Okay. okay. I'm going to have to open my eyes, I think. 
So yeah. Uh, eyes open this round. Okay. And I'm gonna shoot it. Okay. Do you wanna do you wanna take hidden off? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Hidden is off. Okay, do my flurry. You miss. God bless him. You hit. Big money. No way. That's big money. Okay. And uh, third attack. Oh, of course. Oh, depressing. Oh, that is depressing. Okay. Uh, he, uh, you can you roll again if you want nope. with your hero point. Oh, okay. Already used it. Zinger, the basilisk has moved to your left side. He okay. is no longer covered by your blanket. Well, I'm holding the blanket, so in front of me. Yes, but he moved to the side of you. Oh, right. Okay. At this point in time, you can see him. You know what that okay. means? No, I was tracking it with my blanket like a turret. I don't think that works when it's not your turn. So I need you to take this fortitude save. You fail. Okay, I will be slowed. You are now slowed. Do you still get three actions this turn? Yep. Yeah. So my telekinetic weapon is still there. Uh, I'm still holding. I'm rotating. I mean, I've. I can face any direction on my turn for free. So the blanket is now between me and it again. Okay. And then I'm going to attack it with a spiritual weapon. Okay. okay. Find that damn uh, roll here again. Just in case there's shit it adds to it. Spiritual armament attack. That we just misses. Break here. We don't uh, want to miss. Uh, with man, a plus nine, man. Unlucky night. Um, and you then I'm still going at, to can reach... you can you do more than one attack with it in a round? No, uh, okay. no. I I had to spend an action to sustain it. Yeah. Uh, so I got that one attack for one action. Yep. Uh, you have one action left. Yeah, give me give me two milliseconds. Let me just make sure that that I, that's correct. Uh, blah 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 blah. Each time you sustain it, you repeat the attack. You can only sustain once, so it's one attack. Okay. That, but it does leave me with two actions. Yes, you have two uh, actions. Yes. Uh, and I am going to actually use the two actions just to phase bolt for some kind of damage to the thing. Okay, that's a good plan. Uh, so I'm going to attack it. Oh, oh, God damn it. oh. All right. And that's phase bolt. Calliope. Okay, Calliope, it is your turn. You have two actions. Brock is almost dead. Oh, I should have maybe healed, but I well, think you he want to heal away now. I can no. do that. You can do that. I will heal Frog. Froggy gets a heal, and he did ride. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Not control, Wendy. No. Shift T. There we go. Now you targeted. Um, spell. I would like to cast. Eh, yeah. Do you think you need a second ranker? Oh, how low I, are you? He's almost dead. I'm almost second, dead. Second ranker it is. Doesn't the second rank just make it ranged? Mm -mm. Oh, you're doing heal, right? Yeah. Second rank. She's heightening the spell. Yeah. Well, oh, oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, mm hmm. Second ranker, oh, not second I'm... actioner. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. So heal versus okay. living. So heal versus living. Yep. Full healing. And here you go. Oh, look at that. 29 <laughs> points. There you that go, Kupiri. Helpful. Thank you. You're very welcome. I believe my turn is done. It is. How long does a slow yes, condition I'm... last? One minute. I don't know. A oh, one minute. It's okay. a little ridiculous, though. Kupiri. Well, I'm not opening my eyes, so I need to do a seek action. Yep. How do yep. I do that? Um, you need to go under basic action macros and Ugh. do seek. Target the target the bad guy and seek him out. Uh, 
You have sought him. He has he been sotted. Yes. Okay, so that it's was one right, action. Yep. Yeah. My second action. I'm loving this. Only two actions. <laughs> Best thing that's ever happened to me. Okay, uh, I will shoot at him. Okay. That's gonna hit. Uh, I have to do a flat check. My eyes are closed. Oh, you're right. I forgot to have hidden on him. I hate to I hate to tell on myself like that. No, but that's <laughs> legit. So just slash roll D. There you go. Oh no! no! Uh, you missed. It is now. Uh, that's it. That's it, for me. it is now the basilisk's turn. He turns to trick and does his gaze. Does he choke on his own spit and die? Nope. That's Thanks. going to fail. Bye. So you are slowed. And yep. then he takes a bite of... Okay. I have about 15 more minutes left in me, and that is it. I will hand my character to Brond. He oh, critically hits you. It. Twenty-eight points on oh, Zinger. Oh, I'll be down. Zinger's I'm down. So badly injured. Yep. All right, y'all. Nobody will have to look at it to hit it. I did what I could. Uh, it is now Trick's turn. Kill a trick. So, so are you also Stone Zinger? No, no, no. he's just uh, dead. Yeah, but you need to move me in the initiative order too. You're oh, dead. you're right. You're right. Uh, well, not dead, but down. Yeah. Dying one. Well, whatever. I can heal on that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll do that next Oops. time. That's why moving me matters, because if you heal me on your turn, I get my turn. Yeah. Should be right before the thing that downed me. Okay. It could be very relevant. There we go. Yeah. Trick says, not today, you son of a bitch. Trick! <laughs> Get him! Trick. <laughs> Loves, so uh... Bad. He takes uh, one of his, uh... Fireball necklace bolt uh, orbs off. Okay! okay. Nice. And he, uh, <laughs> he tosses it about here. Okay. About there, yeah, <laughs> approximately. <laughs> Over in this okay. general vicinity. I don't know if you want me to make a check for that or. No, 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 it's fine. Okay, and he needs to. Oops, I did not mean to roll that. What was he that? He needs to make a uh, DC twenty-one basic reflex. Basic reflex. Uh huh. He succeeds, so he takes Does half it... damage. Okay. After this. He takes half. A huge explosion blows up in the woods. The trees catch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and the the uh, basilisk is caught in the blast. Oh, thank God. But he's is still he alive. Still uh, oh dear lord uh well that was a interact action i'm gonna do my flurry action okay um i'm hell diving this okay <laughs> <laughs> you'll never take away our way of life <laughs> oh my freedom oh my freedom <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. You hit. The day the basilisk is still up. You hit. Please, please die. Please die. <laughs> that was a 
was a two. The basilisk <laughs> is still up. <laughs> it is now Calliope's turn. I have to heal things. Oh, okay, where's my thing? I'm healing. I see you. You're dead. It's fine. Not for long. Okay, my little dead play thing. Um, I still think an actual heal pulls him back from the dead, right? Yes. Right, 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 right. Okay. You get, you get one of those fabulous heals too. And here we go. Heal versus living. We're all healing. Okay. okay. Zinger is back up. So this is a rule I don't actually know. It's never come up. Um, I think if I drop unconscious, I would assume I lose any spells I was sustaining. Sustain happens at the start of my round, technically, but it makes logical sense that the spells would go away if I drop unconscious. I just can't find that rule. Do you know, Wes? I do not know, and I'm not going to worry about it right now. You can have your spells. I think that you, you, you basically you started to get knocked unconscious and then you got healed back up. Yeah. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, so it is now Zinger's turn. Well, so I do have the spiritual armament up, then I have to decide to sustain it, but I keep thinking this blanket thing will work. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next time, no heals for you. Uh, you. You've had your last heal. All right, so I, I will Holy make a, a, ta a spell attack. Okay. Uh, it's this bastard with the armament. I want to just do it this way. It'll be easier. Uh, but how do you do that? I guess i got to go back to the spell. That's fine. There's another place I could do this, but... I have to pretend to cast this again to get my buttons back. Okay, attack. Why is it? Yeah, why is it only plus seven? It should be plus nine. Confused You're prone right now. Maybe that's why. We'll see all your modifiers uh, in a second. I'll, I'll let you know what your modifiers are when you swing. All right. I could stand up. You could. It seems like a waste. I attack it lying down. Then it's like a face bolt to you. I don't have two attacks. You hit? All right. So it's going to be 2d8. Uh... Oh, I actually rolled an attack roll for telekinetic maneuver. It's the same roll, but I yeah, rolled it for the wrong fine. spell. That's fine. Let me, let me restore it. Okay. I meant to let me get, let me cast this again so I can get the damn buttons up. So... Yeah. I don't know how I'll do it. Okay, so now I'll do slashing damage. Yes. And then just click roll damage. Six more. The Basilisk falls. <laughs> no. I throw in my third action, I throw the blanket over it. <laughs> I fall to my knees with gratitude for the blanket. <laughs> so... How about that TPK that almost happened? <laughs> wow. So, wow. Yeah. so the real question is, um, you know, obviously in the effect for the Basquist thing, it mentioned being able to use the blood to heal. What is our what chances do we have as any of the characters being able to suss that out? You would need to make a uh, recall knowledge check. So we look at Bronze okay. and I look at Hold the, on, the frog's eyes are still closed and he's still shooting. No, oh no, kidding. no, yeah. Um yeah, I, I tell you, it's over, man. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Uh, I will do a recall knowledge. I guess we're really just recalling knowledge about what to do about Brond. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know that Basilisk blood can heal the stoned condition. Oh, well. Oh, let's go right. get that blood out of him. Well, you know what? Let's bring him to the blood. You're going to pick up a stoned bronze, a person twice I your height we're... made of stone? What's the other option? You know, we, could, we, could use we could use your blanket to soak up yeah. the yeah. blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just giving you the breadcrumbs to you be the one say you the know. blanket is important. 
Uh, you managed so, to collect enough basilisk blood, okay? And you pour it over Brond, and he is no longer petrified. Excellent. And I'm going to go ahead and remove everybody's stoned condition. Oh. Or slowed, Man. pardon me. I would like to. Okay. <laughs> so, we, were never, we were never stoned. Now, I'll say it this. felt like we were. You do have one more dose of basilisk blood. Hmm. Oh, we could go use it on the woman and she could tell us what she did. Then she'll be dead. She's covered. Well, she's not here. They, they took her away. Could use yeah. it on a kobold. Yeah, oh, we can use it on a kobold. Have been eaten. Let's find a statue that hasn't been eaten. Yes. Um, yeah, let's out. ring the blood into like a vial or something. If we yeah, can. how can we? Is do we think we can preserve this and like? You think? Or yeah, you you think that you can you can take it back to town? Uh, Damn. Okay. I I chop its head off. Okay. You chop off the basilisk's head. Do we think the yeah. head is dangerous after death, or uh, give me a like give me a recall something. knowledge? Yeah, I, I avoid looking I, at it. Oh wait, actually, you failed your last recall knowledge, and Ox Champion did as. Oh no, wait, you didn't. You didn't fail. You got the one right. Okay. Okay. But Ox Champion well, would... can't. You can't do any more recall knowledge on basilisks. Okay, I, I uh, would poke out its eyes. Uh, Zinger, you no longer you fa that that's a fail. Um, like so roll. We have another dose. Somebody look at it just to be sure. I'll, I'll uh, check it out. Away. Okay. You want to do, so just do a recall knowledge week. check? Nature. Oh. Um, Where, is na Where is nature? Well, it's just I if you do recall knowledge, I look at what it's what it is. Okay, well, I would think my nature would be a lot higher than this recall knowledge is. So, well, no, you did a you have a plus 10 in nature, so your recall knowledge was since you rolled a five is a 15, which in this particular okay. case gives you the knowledge that you don't think a basilisk's head would harm you. Okay, hey, guess okay. what? Good, good, good information. It. Yep. <laughs> so, we got it. What do we, what do we, what is this blood in? Do we can we just transport enough in the bedroll? Um, do we need, do we he, need uh, a, uh, uh, to drain some from the body? Trick was saying he put it in a in a vial. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, I see. <clears throat> well, Spencer's away for a second. Yeah, yeah. Um, so do I guess let's go back to the kobolds first, just to see if. Uh, Okay. Their wounds. Give me a um give me a um tracking check to see if you can get back to where you were. Okay. Uh, we're yeah, lost. We're we didn't the... put any breadcrumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oops, that meant uh yeah, you think you get you you follow your tracks back to the back to the um back to the road. You guys are here. Um, there are the three stoned kobolds here. Do any of them look not damaged enough to where if we put the blood on them, they wouldn't immediately die? Yeah. You, I mean, you, yeah, you think that, yeah, these guys did not get chomped on. Evidently, the basilisk got enough food from the from the centaur. Wow. Tommy, but do wow. we think... I mean that we can magically heal the centaur. Do, do you think? Yeah, that's what I was do about to ask. Think that would work. That there hasn't been too long. Do we know if this blood only works for a certain period of time? Or uh, Wendy can check. Okay. Oh, there is. Hey, that. do you know? Oh. Yeah, I'll I'll look into that. Um, I just need to pull that up and do another recall knowledge roll. Boom. Um, you failed. You do not know. Sorry, y'all. I have no idea. So, do you think you want to try to bring the blood back to town to see if there's any way we could heal her? Seems like that would probably curry more favor. Yeah, than just a random I kobold. Think so yeah. too. Then, That'll then probably attack kobolds. us. 
Uh, but the centaur will yep. just basically unpetrify, then scream in pain, dumping blood everywhere. But presumably, yeah. quickly then, we would heal. Maybe, yeah, we could see if we can get any resources in town that could know or help. Uh, I don't know. It's probably worth a shot. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And welcome back. Okay. I agree. So I guess let's head back to town. Okay. Okay. You guys head back to Atari. There are no incidents on your way back to town. Yay. Uh, you want to check in with the garrison first? I guess we would pass it, you know, as we're... Um, yeah. So you're you're going to go to the garrison first? Garrison's yeah, here? Yeah. Uh, Galentine's delivery is up here. head of the monster here. in my arms as I'm walking in. Okay. And I just like slam it on the desk. Monster delivered. Uh they they're like, "Whoa! Whoa! That's that's amazing." Why don't you do a make an impression on them? And we're all I'm beat the hell up, so. Wendy's going to head to bed. Okay. Good night, Good night Wendy. Good night, guys. Sorry, I can't make it any further tonight. No Good night. Um Okay, they are they are impressed. They're like, "Wow, that's incredible! You went and killed the creature. That's great." Yep, it was a little tough. We almost died. Uh, but yes, the the people at the desk are impressed with you. Uh, Lardis is not here right now. He has left the building for now. Um, okay, so, Lardis has left the building. Yes, he's probably getting drunk. I imagine. <laughs> And then I don't I don't know I just walk out. Okay. <laughs> okay. There. And uh, well, yeah. Do we want to? Who do we want to talk to? Well, we want to talk to the the centaur's partner who was um, what shop was she in? Um, over here at Galentine's Deliveries. Yes. Her partner is Aloria Galentine. I'll show you her picture. Right there. Yep. Right? That's where we need to go. I don't want to do the talking. Okay. So you head on over? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, There is a closed sign on the door. Oh, I knock on the door. You hear a voice. Matter of importance. Um, Okay. One of the, um, uh, like, people that work there. Like one of the nobodies comes over and opens the door and says, what can we help you with? There's been a death. I have some basilisk blood, question mark. Um, they're like, OK, what? Uh, <laughs> I, I'm I, I don't know what that means. Uh, it makes people that wear stone and not stone. Um, they're like, wait, what? What? And uh, so they open the doors and uh, let you in and pull you in. And they go and get Elorio. And Elorio is like, what What? What are you saying? What are you saying? I'm saying if we use it, then we're going to have a bloody dying centaur. But not stone anymore. Um, She's like, I, I don't know. Uh, she is like, I, I don't I don't. I don't think she'd survive. Do you? Can, no, can unless we... there's any. We have some healers on our team, but I don't know if there's any amazing healers or okay. surgeons. I can, I can lay hands. Yeah, I mean, I can lay hands as soon as she. I'm Could so we fine. like fill in with normal rocks, and maybe that would work? I don't know. <laughs> she, I mean, we'll take some she... mud, kind of put some spat, a little bondo on the on the rear end. <laughs> is she in? Is the do we like just looking into the front door? Is 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 it is it just in there? Yes, yes. The stat like they have they have the... brought her into the front. Uh, they're in one of the rooms nearby. Um, it appears as if. Three huge bites have been taken out of her. Right. I don't see any reason healing can't. I mean, I don't know. I I think between if it's my hands... chunks missing, that's like restoration level, right? I don't know. I don't know. We can find out. This could be a horrible, horrible scene for everybody. <laughs> well, I'm not doing it without their uh, express permission. Um, so maybe at least 
you could say goodbye. I don't know. This is... So I so I'm sorry, but next to this place there are these enclosures of light. They're for horses. Yes. Are there regular horses in there? Yes. Okay. Yes. This is she has she has tools like for, goes in, like, okay. for doing deliveries. Yes. Those are not oh, all gotcha. centaurs out in the yard. <laughs> she doesn't have a fence for the centaurs. <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, so you're you're saying that what you want to do is is use the blood on her, and she's she's looking at you. She's like you 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 think this blood will bring her back to life, and you think you can heal her fast enough and, and to take care of her wounds. This seems a little extreme, doesn't it? I thought I I have no guarantee that uh, healing would work, but I don't know. Would you want to say goodbye to her? This is all a hundred percent up to you. I just wanted to give you the option. Um, she she thinks about it, and she's is like, there... she's like, uh, I think you're right. I th I think this could give me a chance to say goodbye. She's like, maybe, we'll, maybe we should we'll put all this. hands on deck to try to let her survive as long as possible. Okay. Is I, there a doctor, surgeon, cleric in town? Um, the only one really is Vandy. Um, uh, yeah, you could call Vandy yep. over. Yeah, get we Vandy have Calliope here. too, and some Get Calliope. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, you guys send. Finger can lay on hands. Yep, they send one of the um, uh, delivery people over to get Vandy, and she shows up, um, and uh, she's agreed to help. Um, let me do a recall knowledge on her. Hold on, just one moment. Um, she says that her, in her expert opinion, there is a chance that this could work. It's slim. Hmm. Um, and I'll describe it in game terms. Uh -huh. It depends on whether she's dying for, if she made it to dying for, then she's dead. But if if she didn't get to dying four before she was turned to stone, this might work. Okay. Well, if her partner and everybody else is okay, I say let's let's try it. Okay. Um, they get around. Vandy gets ready to uh, cast a spell. Let me double check and I, see. I'll what... prep a lay on. I'll have my hands in contact with her, and as soon as it turns to not stone, do a lay on hands as well. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Great. So she's gonna and have a. Siri and Bronda are there too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're moral support. Yeah. We're the real heroes of this town. <laughs> You're the control, Brian. You're you're important. Frog, uh, you can you can wait. stay or go. Doesn't matter. Hold on just a second. <laughs> Let's see. She is a cleric, so she's a innate spell. Ca no, she's a uh, spontaneous caster as a cleric, right? Well, uh, she's prepared. Is she? Yeah, but you can prepare any divine spell. But right, she does prepare. Okay. And her but she probably, if she's divine, she probably has heal spells in her font. Anyway. Right, right, yeah. So. so. At fifth level, she'll have a third rank spell. Correct. She'll have two for third rank spells, right? Yeah, and four, and four whatever, four yeah. or five of the divine fonts, if she's divine, sanctified. Yeah, we're going to get... Heal. If she's not harm, whatever. Yeah. I doubt it. But. Let's see. Let's grab heal, pull it over. Sorry, I didn't have her completely set up with spell casting oh, abilities. Yeah. So we're gonna so we're gonna drag this there and drag this here. Okay. 
Um, she is ready to cast. Calliope is ready to cast. Zinger is ready to cast. Okay. Oh. Are you gonna see? Put... As everybody's in place, yeah, I will. Uh... You apply the blood. Uh huh. And you hear a blood curdling scream, and Alorio is is like facing um, Narala, and sh and she's like, "We've got you, baby!" And you guys cast your heal spells, um, and it works. She is you're able to heal her back up. Uh, even though she's got these huge chunks taken out of her, she had not reached dying four. Um, I don't know if you caught, but I made sure to say that she had three chunks out of her. Mm. Oof. Um, so uh, y it is a really glorious situation like everybody is deliriously happy vandy goes over and congratulates everybody gives aloria a big hug uh, aloria and narala are sitting there just holding each other it is very very touching and very awesome <laughs> you guys saved another atari life Hooray! Ooh. We're such good people. <laughs> and zigzag. I can't wait to pose for my statue. <laughs> you can't wait to pose wait. statue. Sorry, Brond. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, that is, you guys take care of that situation. Uh, it's um, getting closer to the late afternoon. Uh, is there anything you guys want to do? Hey, guys. Uh, Let's get super fucking drunk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but before we do that, aren't there like these strangers that have been wandering the streets at night? Maybe we should uh, rest up, kick their asses, and then get really fucking drunk. Well, let's have one drink and then go find, uh, go wander the streets. I think we need to full rest before we fuck with anything else. Probably, yeah. That's that's probably a good idea. I mean, why yeah. why offer uh, feeling? moved by this i offer I think, for um, them to come with us to have a a round um uh they're like no uh, uh vandy agrees to come with you yeah, um yeah. uh but uh but narala and aloria are gonna stay at uh at the at the delivery place and then eventually head back over to their house across the street yeah all right well great we got vandy great <laughs> <laughs> she smells like cookies <laughs> Uh, yeah, we love Mandy. <laughs> so, what are you guys gonna do? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna. I'm going. I. I mean, I think if we're up to her, I guess I'll freaking go with fucking Brandy, Vandy. Uh, <laughs> go have a drink at the um, Crook Snook. Okay, yeah, one, Crook Snook is our bar of choice, right? Just one, yeah, yeah one it's little, a Crook Snook night. Okay, uh, sit out over the water and just kind of uh, drink quietly. Okay. I'll take you guys back to the crook nook. Crook snook. Hold on. Um, we'll pull in Vandy, and she sits at the bar with you and is having a drink. And uh, she looks over at you and she goes, "You guys have been way more surprising than I would have thought you would have been." <laughs> no need to tell us. <laughs> we know. <laughs> Constantly surprised by myself. I know. It's... Well, this is a good village filled with good people. So she's like, and I. Us. She goes, I wouldn't have thought much of you guys if you hadn't. If you had, I mean, but everything you guys have done. She goes, this is crazy. I, uh, I, I, I didn't expect to see this much action around this town. <laughs> Oh, and there's a giant, evil, ominous tower nearby. You never know what to expect. <laughs> um, do I you would, do I you would scoot, run over to her, and kind of coil around her drink? <laughs> <laughs> she kind of looks at it, and she looks at you, and you see her do a little detect magic. 
you know? Um, and then she just kind of picks up her drink and takes a sip and sets it back down uh, with Scoot, it, so that it so Scoot's like her coaster. Oh, okay. I'll pay with it. <laughs> I, I give her a, a weird smile. Uh, actually, I don't like that music. Let's go this direction. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Is that what flirting looks like for you? <laughs> <laughs> Here, let's try. Where did that one go? I had some other you're, music. You're in the other person. Yeah. Uh, here, we'll do this. That sounds like a good one. Okay. So, you guys are having a drink here in the Crook's Nook. Um, there still seems to be some tension. I mean, obviously, you know, like, nobody knows what you did yet, you know? Um, Rick is loudly talking about the... <laughs> events and the explosion and <laughs> <laughs> uh Yinos Mara is is like fascinated and um and is is very impressed. Um you do notice that hold on just one second uh oh crap I don't have those tokens set up uh, one of the guys that you rescued from the vaults uh, comes and steps into the room. I'm just going to use a generic token for him, but I do have tokens with their names. Um, hold on. Here we go. Let's go. Osprey Thief. Uh, he comes and sits down and... Uh, and like walks over to you guys and buys all your drinks. And it's like, you guys saved my life. I cannot thank you enough. Drink's pretty tipsy and just That's gives him. us a big hug. It's like, yeah. we love you, man. <laughs> he gives you a big hug back. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, he's like, um, look, if you guys need anything at all, you let me know. He goes, I'm never going in that place again. But if there's anything I can do for you here in Otari, let me know. Will do. I ask him if he is, I mean, maybe not a time for work talk, but I ask him if he and his friends have seen these hooded figures around the streets. I know they must be out at night, son. Uh, let me see. That's a good question. Did, guys, did we just get our first thug? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he says, no, I haven't, I haven't seen, I haven't seen any hooded figures walking around. Thanks for the round. He's yeah. like, my pleasure. He goes, uh, he goes, I'm sure that, uh, the other guys and he says their names when they're, when they, when they, when they're in, they'll buy you a round too. He goes, uh, you've, you've, you did us good. So what do you specialize in? What, what do you do? He goes, well, he goes, you know, we're not, we're not, uh, we're not cat burglars or anything. He goes, uh, we have done some minor theft of that kind. Uh, he goes, but, uh, but, you know, mostly we just, um, you know, we make sure that anything that falls off any trucks is, uh, safely delivered to where it needs to go. <laughs> gotcha. 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 We tell him we'd really appreciate it if they keep, if he, he and his buddies, when they were picking up items from trucks would keep their eyes out on the streets. We've been hearing about some strange people in town. Yeah. Not us. Okay. <laughs> uh, like, he uh he he nods. He goes, absolutely. He goes, I'll keep my eyes open on the things you're looking for. Hmm. Anything else you guys want to do here? Kupiri is drinking to get drunk. Okay. Like it's not pretty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You did almost have a TPK today. It was it was yeah. not a good day. <laughs> and Braun, you're like, whoo, man, this it alcohol sure tastes good. How was that, by the way? Did you remember anything? <laughs> uh, like it, a constant hellscape, or did it feel like an eternity? Or I, I don't really remember much. I, I was just kind of there, and uh, yeah, it was uh, not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. So, um, yeah, so you guys get filthy freaking drunk. 
Dinya's Mara keeps serving drinks. People keep coming in. Uh, it's a good night. Uh, you guys did a good thing. Vandy says, well, I better get out of here. She does not get shit face drunk. And she heads Dude, out. I give her a hug, too. Oh, she gives you a hug back. She goes, we did uh, something beautiful today. She goes, we still need to figure out what to do with that tomb. Uh, I think I think we've got uh, about another week until um, our, we're going to hear from from my people back in um, Absalom. We, we, we'll, we'll look into that. Awesome. Okay, she heads out. Is that the tomb that we got? We found in the yes, in the fishery. Yeah. Yes. Anything else you guys want to do here? No, I'm gonna probably just wander back to the room after. Yeah. Okay. Go pass yeah. out here. I'm gonna keep an eye out in the streets. Maybe take a little extra block or two route going back. Okay. This will be a loud, rambunctious group, but just to see if we yeah. see anything. Okay. Drake is still just making sound effects. Like, pew pew, kaboom! <laughs> <laughs> um, Drake is in a very good mood. Uh, you should be. You should be in a good mood. Uh, okay, so let's. Uh, we'll 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 try a little of this. Uh, doop 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 doop. God, I hate that. There we go. Uh. Okay, you guys actually do catch a glimpse of some people wearing cloaks walking through the town. Mm. When you guys are getting close to your house up here, you kind of see them up by Rook's Alley. I sh I throw Scoot on the ground and have him start racing that direction. Okay. Uh, with the with the intention of him listening. Okay. Are they, are they walking or are they? Uh, yes, they're walking. Yeah, we're gonna and then maybe we can try to keep our distance, but sort of stay a block or so behind, and let's let Scoot linger around them for you know a minute maybe and come back. Okay. Um. Uh, Scoot kind of wanders around them. You guys sort of tail them a little bit. Um, let me see if they notice you. They do not. Uh, and they appear to be talking quietly. Um, do you call Scoot back? Yes. Uh, Scoot comes wandering back and they say, and and Scoot says, um, uh, they're hoping the light shines on Otari again. Oh, well, okay. Uh, I, man, I put my, I'm wearing my hat in disguise, but I begin to change myself into a dwarven lad. Okay. Just no specific person, just a dwarven lad, young, strapping dwarven lad. Yeah. Uh, six inches taller than I am. That's the most I can grow. Uh, <laughs> and um, if if we can, if we're st still tailing them by the time that's complete, I want to run up to them and go, sir, so I'm like, can I have directions? I'm so lost and afraid and dwarven. <laughs> 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 okay, do I make an impression? <laughs> I am a dwarven lad. I think there's a, such a circumstance bonus for being a dwarven lad. <laughs> White guarded as the most um, sympathetic. Are you singing of... peaches and cream? <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Um. They're not too interested in what you have to say. Uh, they look at you and they go, "Go away, little boy. We we don't we." we I say, we, what you doing? Nice cloaks. Uh, they're like you're we, evil. <laughs> they look at you and they go, "What are you talking about? What are you doing? Why are you in cloaks? We're walking around the city of Otari. What are you doing here? Where do you stay? What do you do for work? Uh, th that's none of your business, little boy. My mom Move along. Work anymore. Move along. 
My dad is the hard worker. Are you hard workers? <laughs> <laughs> they are unimpressed with you and turn and continue walking away. I grab, I, I run around to the front of them doing like a little street urchin dance and see if their cloaks have any symbols or anything on them. Okay. Do a perception check. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll do it. Well, I'm just trying to look at it. I'm going to do it public for, for just looking for a symbol. Or you want it blind? Which uh, one? Public's fine. Um, you notice one of them has a skull medallion kind of uh, half under their cloak and it matches a skull symbol you saw on the wall of that round room in the gauntlet ruins. The round room that's the what you think is under the gauntlet no uh you guys found another round room um on the second floor let me pull there that was up. a thing in the middle the shimmering right um no 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 uh, um or... it was this it was this room <clears throat> it was a plain circular room room a single image of a moss caked skull adorns the eastern wall yeah, and we never got it to do anything, I think, right? right? Like, we tried right. to activate it or something. But you do oh, recognize that that is the same symbol that this guy is wearing around his neck. I say, are you the people the heroes are coming for? He's like, no one's expecting us. No one's here for us. Go away, little boy. Uh, okay, I leave. I run. I, I canter back to the party. Okay. No, I scamper back to the party. Yes. <laughs> I do a little. I do both. I alternate. Okay. You <laughs> prance. Um, you prance a bit. <laughs> so I return. I kind of, I tell him about the skull and okay. then slowly turn back into um, my charming self. Okay. I guess, can I make a knowledge or a, I don't remember if we did any knowledge rolls on the. Yeah. Why don't you give me a recall knowledge? I'll do it for uh, Calliope. Oh, I think I did it twice. Sorry. What we need, uh, I, if it's anything, I mean, it's going to be Arcana, but I'll throw one in there just for. Uh, hold on just one second. Like, what's Pathfinder's version of ball? <laughs> uh, hold on just one second. Let me check something real quick. <clears throat> this is what we need to send um, that intolerant, that more uh, moral abundant partner off on researching, or more, the moral events off on researching. Yeah. Um. You guys don't still don't know what that symbol means and they were walking down that just wandering down the alley should have tailed them more yeah um i think they're not hard to find so we can try again later we can, yeah once we're rested we, up and yeah more sober we can yeah we'll go to odd stories and maybe the temple place okay yeah. tomorrow okay you guys going to spend the night? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. It is a rough night of sleep for all you drunk people. <laughs> but you wake up the next day and everybody can click their rest for the night button. <laughs> Does Calliope uh, rest, uh, heal us all up the rest of the way? Yes. Everybody can be full max hit points. We didn't even get a hero point for saving the centaur. God, you were a monster. Oh, man. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yes. Actually, that is a very good point. I am a-okay with you guys have getting a hero point for that. So I'll give one to Calliope. Although she says she has three. I don't think she has three. We'll give her, we'll give her, anyway. 
Uh, okay, so uh, it is the next day. Uh, you guys wake up hungover, uh, but very proud of yourselves. And you are in Atari. What is your goal for today? I think um, one of the things we should do is go get set them off and researching this skull cult, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. let's go uh, ask around and about that. Yeah, ooh, uh, Rin might know too, or she might have some knowledge. Yeah, she seems weird. Yep. Where you got? Where are you gonna and go? Also, I want to go. Let's go to the bookstore first. Okay. Okay, you head to Odd Stories. And first, uh, of course, we brag about last night or yesterday. Okay. And uh, then we... Uh, they are very ahead. impressed with your story and are like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, you saved her life? That's incredible. <laughs> they continue to be impressed with you. Your, your, your <laughs> goodwill is going far. So we do our best to describe the uh, skull or what I saw on the these figures wearing. Yeah. And then mentioned we saw it on the in the dungeon too. Or in the I did you know, this was dumb of me. I was and I was drunk and trying to get the headset of a dwarven lad, so I d I might probably ask what did they look like humans? What Yes, yes. They were they, humanoids, just a variety of humanoids. Okay. Um, so yeah, we described the people and the skull in as much detail as possible. Um, <laughs> um, Morblint says, oh dear, oh dear. He says, um, those must be followers of Nimbaloth. Um, Nimbaloth is the enemy of all living things. Nimbaloth dwells... Um, hold on, let me actually look this up. Um, he says, um, he says, Nimbaloth is the, is an outer god of swamps, despair, and wisps. She dwells um, she's also known as the Empty Death because when sentient creatures die and go down the shores of the rivers of River of Souls, um, Nimbaloth hunts them and consumes them on their way to their final resting place. Those that she consumes can never be resurrected. They are forever gone and leave and have nothing. And they're forever nothing. That's a bummer. Um, Darn. Lame. <laughs> Nimbaloth, Nimbaloth is, is, like the enemy of Phrasma, uh, the goddess that um, that esco that tries to get people to their final resting place. Her and her psychopomps. Uh, uh, what what does their cult do? Like he goes, he goes. Oh, I for heaven's sake, I wouldn't know. He goes. <laughs> worship of Nimbaloth is universally frowned upon it is there is no civilized society that that finds it acceptable to have people within you know that that to have people worshiping a, a, a deity that consumes the souls of of people of you know people do you know of any relate any relationship was belcora related to the cult at all um, he goes, um, actually there were some, there were some, some considerations of that. Um, despite the story you've been told, 
the Rose Guard did not meet a happy end. And there was a lot of misery that there was a belief that Belcora left her mark on the Rose Guard. We don't talk about it, you know, when we're putting on plays and things like that. And really, I think there's only a few people in town who who know this at all. But uh, but they were they were they were cursed after defeating Belcor. And tell, we know this, I think, in character. How Belcora was defeated, how? A nebulous, like they defeated her? Or do we know any details about what oh, they, they did it, to her? There's not a detail of what exactly they did to her, um, but it was believed that she was killed up by the Gauntlet, by the Rose Guard, um, and that um, Atari died in the battle. Um, well, whatever they're doing here certainly isn't a good sign. No, yeah. absolutely not. I have I have never seen acolytes of of Nimbaloth in this town. I I can't even imagine that. I, I I'm surprised you even saw them. Uh, why why would they come out wearing their 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 religious gear. Oh, also they did say uh they hope uh the light shines down on Otari again, so that's uh, probably not a good sign. He kind of slumps down. He 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 goes over and and sits down in a chair and he goes, "Oh dear. Oh no." Yeah, and, might and want to lock your doors tonight. Carl walks over and is like, "If there are people in the world who know that Belcora is active in this area, we're going to start seeing some bad people show up. That's evil mm -hmm. attracts evil. Nothing about just the possibility then the this stuff seemed legit like this wasn't like a vampire club at high school like they were pretending to be nimble off cultists you don't know i got i got nothing i got no obvious vibe like you didn't rope, you didn't detect anything like that yeah. and well you also didn't notice like they they didn't appear yeah. to be, he he wasn't well, showing was off confident. his his, yeah. his it was half hidden you yeah. just made a really excellent perception roll um, well, maybe next time we see them, we'll have to tail them more efficiently. Maybe Slunkoth can tail them. Slunkoth Dude. doesn't talk, though, right? Slunkoth is, is a cat. It's a very yeah. well-trained cat. Yeah. You don't see through Slunkoth's eyes or anything, right? No, yeah. No. He's not a deity or anything. <laughs> I can talk to rats, though. Uh, that's maybe not um, not about. I mean, that may come. That may be useful. We do know where there yeah. are rats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can um, find out where they're hanging out and put rats there, and then go ask what's going on. No. <laughs> well, once we're done here, I think we should go back to the guard now. Now that we know this uh, cult is probably a problem. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, you're gonna head on over to the to the. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them, okay. Tell them, have a good day. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll be back if we find anything. Came, came to ruin your evening, and now we're going. So. <laughs> <laughs> Our job here is done. <laughs> um, okay, so you guys head over to uh, the Atari Garrison, and um, at this point in time. Um, you notice that um, uh, Long Saddle is barking orders at people to clean all the blood out of his 
room where evidently this basilisk head sat waiting for him to come back. <laughs> 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 and he he is basically bossing all the people around like, get this cleaned up. You go get what we got to get this. And um, and and you notice there is a large sack on the front porch of the of the garrison. <laughs> I ignore all that and come up to Long Saddle. It's like, sir, we have a problem. He's like, you've got a problem. You created a problem. You made a mess in my garrison. What did you bring that thing back here for? I'm a monster hunter. Trophies. I don't know. I was almost dead. He goes. We have just more serious things that, to discuss. He's like, what is it? What is it that you want? So the people in the cloaks, you know. What people in cloaks? Surely you and your guard have noticed the cloaked figures. Um, hold on just one second. He goes, I have no idea what you are talking about. <laughs> you really uh need to spend a little less time in the bottom of a mug and a little more town paying attention to your town here. He looks over at you and he goes, I have run this town for 15 years and I've run it way better. He goes, you guys show up and all of a sudden we've got dragons. We've got basilisks. What is going on here? What have you brought to this town? We're cleaning up your mess, apparently. You yeah. don't notice. Trick is regretting his decision. It's like, this guy is a joke. He, uh, he goes, look. He goes, this town was doing fine. Everything was safe. And then the all of a sudden, we have a building collapse. You guys show up within a week and kill a dragon. Then you guys go up to the gauntlet ruins. And then when you come back, the light shines on the graveyard, raises people from the dead. He goes, yeah. Ugh. He goes, if I hadn't heard how you guys rescued Nerala, I would think you were behind that as well. It's the people you know, in the club. sounds suspicious if you say it in that tone of voice. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta not believe the mayor's propaganda. It's the people in the cloaks. They're the ones causing. We heard them last night. They want to make the light shine again. So we think it's going to happen again. Probably soon. Um. Everybody give me a perception check. Blind or no? Doesn't matter. This is for role-playing purposes. So I'm I'm a little more unworried about it. Yeah. Womp, womp, womp. I think it's funny that I rolled low because Kupiri is only mildly paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Trick, you notice one of the guards looks like nervous. Hmm. I'm going to walk up to him and like do a full circle around him eyeing him up and down okay um is there a, give me a are you trying to intimidate him uh no is there insight or a, uh that's kind of what the perception check was okay. uh i mean you might try to make an impression Okay. Yep. That's not going to do it. He looks down at you and he's like, he's like, what are you doing? Why are you walking around me like that? Why are you so nervous? He says, that's none of your business. Hmm. Well, check and mate. I'm, I'm going to IR, uh, our big guy. Okay. So, hey, hey, you know, give him like the nod, like put the bolts to him. <laughs> to, to his guard that he works with? Yeah. 
No, to uh, Brian. Oh. I'm like trying to like, hey, Brian, it's like this, this egg needs cracked. I, uh, uh, I look at the, the big wig. I'm like, uh, looks like, uh, one of your boys over here may know a thing or two about what's going on. Okay. Why don't you do a make an impression? Mr. Plus two charisma. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I was supposed to be hidden. Sorry. That's fine. I don't care. This is role playing time. It doesn't matter. Um, the guy goes, "Look, look. I, I, I've seen those guys in the cloaks. Is all." He goes, "But I don't appreciate you." And he looks down at you, Trick, and he's like, "I don't appreciate you treating me like I'm some kind of a jerk. I can't say anything in front of him when he's in a mood like this." What's and, more important, and getting yelled at or saving the city? He goes, he, he, he goes, uh, uh, saving the city from who? A bunch of guys walking around at night? That is no big deal. And then Lardis looks over. He goes, how dare you? He's like, quit, quit feeding into these people and their fairy tales. Fairy tales. Fairy tales. Was it fairy tales who were ripping apart your guardsmen at the graveyard? The graveyard? He go. He kind of sputters a little bit, and he's like, "Look." He goes, "My man said that you did them a solid. That you went out there and you fought out there." He goes, "But I, again, I don't understand what's happening and why all these things are going on now that you're here." I was just here to try to give you the target to actually look at and not us, but uh, don't worry about it. We'll every citizen that dies, that's on your head. And Trick turns to leave. Okay. It's like he's, he's done with this dude. Should we ask the NPC what it thinks when the player characters aren't around? <laughs> <laughs> Let me roll a die for it. Anyway, um, so, uh, so you guys step out. And the door shuts behind you, and you hear Lardis Long Saddle yelling some more at the people who work for him. Um, give me a, give me a, give everybody, give me a perception check, though. Ugh. Rolled well all night. It's been very distressing. So, <laughs> so, Zinger. You have noticed, though, that this town's run pretty well and it's pretty safe. And he doesn't appear to be lying. Like, he was taking care of things and now things are starting to spiral. Yeah, I, I, he had a lot of good points. You know, like, why, what? It, I look at the rest of the party, like, it, it's kind of coincidental. Like, uh, maybe it's us. I mean, everything is us. <laughs> Turning up mill but, house. No, I mean, I no, I. But honestly, like, I get. I mean, uh, out of character, like, I get where he's coming from. Or yeah. Even in character. Yeah, yeah. but why, not? why would he not be pissed? We don't need him. Yeah, Trick is just a simple mouse from a simple village. Yeah, like he's you know, it's gonna get worse. He, um, yeah. But nothing we can do. I mean, I think we just let him go. Like he's he's yeah. From his perspective, uh, we're like a problem. Yeah. Well, we hope the mayor loses the election anyway. I guess I don't know. <laughs> so is, is is that still going on? The mayor election? Has, oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's 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 the 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 speeches were done. I, I need to go and count the number of days it's been. I I, I was going to add a calendar mod, um, uh -huh. but I never got around to it. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the election is coming up, and uh, and it's going to be a thing. I feel like the light is going to fire again soon. Oh yeah, I, I feel yeah. like I don't know if we want to be here to defend the town in some way from it. Or if we're better to be there to see what the thing is doing when it's actually lighting. Mm. That's the question, right? Yeah. 
Maybe this town needs a good lighting where only the captain of the guard is here to deal with it. Yeah. Maybe not a good thought, but... <laughs> we tried to warn him. So we either hang out here another night and try to find the cultists again and tail them. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know what people all have, all people have to do in town. Well, the thieves uh, said they owed us a solid, so if we want to ask them if they could gather information. Yeah. I wonder if they're recruiting. I wonder if one of the, I wonder how skilled yeah. they are. Like, could they get a get a mole into the hmm. the group? But yeah, we should do that. We can we find where do we look? Can we go round up them and and uh, yeah? But it's the of, morning right now. It's, them, it's yeah. the morning right now, and and the crook's nook is usually not open till the afternoon. Okay. I mean, is there I anything else any... in town we want to do? I don't have any shopping to do or anything. Yeah. Uh, I will go back and since we have the morning and wash my blanket out on the rock again. <laughs> <laughs> the that rock take... turns into a big uh, blob of flesh. <laughs> I want to go into the can... blades for glades. Okay. Just, uh, you know, I'll say I'm getting arrows and, you know, supplies, but I, I just want to know the vibe in there. Okay, hold on just one second. Oh, hold on. My map's not working. That did not work. Uh... There we go. Okay. Um, you guys, uh, here, we'll put you over by the door. Um, who all's going in? I'm going in. Yep, Brian will go in. Okay. So the setup is as it usually is. Um, Can you put me in? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I thought you were, I thought I saw you. the party there we go okay so you guys head over to blades for glades um and uh carmen is uh working as usual um and uh amicia is behind the counter reading a book Craig walks in. hey best friends how's it going <laughs> uh carmen looks up at you and grunts <clears throat> and continues working uh amicia kind of giggles and laughs and claps and says and says oh it's so good to see you and she comes running over to you and is like it's like i heard the stories you guys are amazing she goes i can't believe you guys get to help people the way that you do yeah it's really fun <laughs> deep bow. We almost died, but no problem. <laughs> She's like, you almost died? Yeah, Ron and Trick like goes nervously. <laughs> <laughs> Trick goes into full detail, including the sound effects again of Okay. She, fight. she calls you guys over to the counter so that you don't bug Carmen. Uh okay. and and uh oh wait, I have an extra ticket on the board. Uh so anyway, uh you guys come on over and hang out with her over here at the at the door or at the counter. Uh and she's like, um what uh so so what what can we do for you? Um I I wanted to get a few arrows and stuff, but I was just wondering uh how you are, how the mayor campaign's going, uh she goes, See what the vibe is. She goes, things have been really good since the speech. Dad is in a pretty decent mood most of the time. And she kind of looks over at him and comes back to you. <laughs> Now's not one of those times. Um, <laughs> she goes, but but no, uh, uh, we've gotten a lot of positive. In fact, even our business has picked up a little bit lately. Really? Any uh, new customers or special uh, request or? 
She goes, no, not particularly. Um, just, you know, just normal things from that people need from, from, you know, a blacksmith. She goes, it's a lot of tools, mostly. Uh, we do have, we, you know, we have sold some weapons, but nothing, nothing big there. Mostly just, you know, some new tools, things like that. Have you uh, had any new customers that have uh, had uh, been wearing a skull? Um, it, w it was a necklace, right? Yeah, yeah. Have you have you have you seen uh, any new customers wearing a skull necklace? She goes or no. The whole robe deal. Say what? Wearing robes? Uh, yeah. She goes. She goes. No, not not really. She goes. Um, Mostly, mostly it's just been, you know, some of the farmers and things like that. There was an accident out at uh, Shun Farm. Um, there were some hellhounds out there, but evidently uh, Mansoor Frangelico dealt with that. Uh, and then, oh, and and then um, um, Nerala um, uh, got some new horseshoes from us. Um, um, her... Uh, she she now that she's healed up, uh, she came and saw us just yesterday afternoon. Awesome, good to know she's already back on her hooves. Yes. <laughs> well, all right then. Um, yeah. Uh, trickle by a few arrows and. Uh, okay. It's like if you do uh, see anything weird, uh, just keep an eye open. She goes. I will. She goes. I'll be happy to tell you. And then, like, Carmen looks over and goes, uh, don't waste your time with the girl. She's, she's, she sits at home and she reads books. I'll, if there's anything that you need, you should probably talk to somebody else. I know, if we're just doing our civic duty, you know. Let's make sure everybody's doing fine. I forgot to get the scene up for the stream. Look at me. Um, he's like, he, he goes, look, he goes, this isn't a great place to hang out. We're not here to, you know, have a little get together. We're working. What are you doing? We're working too. Working to keep the city safe and find this gauntlet mystery. And I don't know what else. He goes, ah, uh, he goes, why do you have to keep saying these things? People keep talking about the gauntlet. He's, you do he, know about the zombie thing, right? Right. He says, he says, yes, yes, I suppose. Yeah, well, uh, the people in Cloaks were uh, looking, researching into, we think they might... Uh, be a part of what's causing that. So if you see something, just let us know. He he kind of tilts his head at you. He says, cloaks, you say? Uh-huh. He goes, you think they're causing it? We don't have hard concrete proof yet, but uh, we don't think they're good news. He goes, uh, okay. Well, that's a legit concern. I'll, uh, I'll look into that. Thank you. That's all we have. And he kind of is dismissive and in posture and goes back to work. Okay. I think Trick leaves then. Yeah. He's my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys head out. It is 1130. So I guess we're going to call it a night. 